Resident Evil 6. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla with Mutation. Three months later, we're resuming our Resident Evil 6 run. Hello, Joe. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back. Well, I think they're welcoming us back. Like, if people were actually, if someone was actually <laughs> following this, it's like they were waiting for the next season. We did five episodes, or was it four episodes, and then they were waiting <laughs> for the next season, 2024. <laughs> basically yeah i think the last time i had checked yeah it, it i remember at one point i had checked it said like two months i was like damn it's been a while yeah time flies. <laughs> but i think the last time i streamed it was texas chainsaw so for this definitely it's been much longer yeah december 23rd i think so something Ooh. like that because i always when i upload a video to youtube i write down when we streamed it because then you oh look God, like it's good 10 years back. later yeah, it is, man. It's so weird streaming something with you. I forgot. So the last stream we did was Texas, and that was back in January. So imagine. Awesome. Hello, Welcome Gavin. again, everybody, to the stream. We're excited to jump back into RE6. It's going to be fun. It is. Uh, I, I forgot to ask you before the stream. So we never actually went through the files of this game, and there's a ton of lore. And we're doing a story run, so do you mind if we read a, f a few files first? We do a few each episode, because there's a lot of, not the cutscene, sorry, files. Yeah, there's a lot to dig. Oh, no, by all means, go for Yeah, it. the lore is why we play these games, and we kind of forgot we were just playing, we went on to, this is our second, right? Yeah, Pierce, yeah, we'll catch up, actually, yes. let's start. So I don't have the very first one, Joe, if you want, if you will, uh, take it away. Uh, welcome, everyone, hello, Gavin, I see you there, buddy. Are you ready for some uh, for some uh, book club? Book. Yeah, right, I could definitely go ahead and do that. I just turned down. I wanted to turn off the the music for the game just to make sure everybody can clearly hear. So let me see. Let's go to my yeah. So some collections, right? Yeah. So I'm missing some files. I think I'm pretty sure Joe has more of these than I do. I'm missing, for instance, like right 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 off the bat, the first and the fifth file. I have two, three, four. And then, you know, I have everything up until the second to last row. Actually, we should be able to see each other's streams. And this is in the in Leon's cabinet, right? This yeah, is what Leon's. We're talking about? Okay, yeah, yeah. For Leon's cabinet, I have all the files. All right, you start then until you get tired. Okay, and then I'll take over. From number, number one, which to nobody's surprise is about Leon himself. All right, so Leon S. Kennedy, at 36 years of age, Leon S. Kennedy is the most respected agent working for the U.S. government, reporting directly to the president himself the horrors he witnessed as a result of a biohazard outbreak known as the Raccoon City incident left him with a deep-rooted hatred of bioterrorism and those who would use it. While his demeanor is calm and rational, it should not be mistaken for empathy. He will take the initiative on any mission he's been assigned, often putting himself in danger in order to save the innocent. He takes his missions seriously, making decisions cautiously and logically. From time to time, however, his sardonic wit will surface, recalling his time as a good-natured rookie cop with a sense of duty who was able to maintain his sense of humor, even in tough times. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> it is That good. completes I... file number one. Can I ask you something, Joe? <laughs> Of course. Do you know how we unlock these files? Because I know I just have them. I don't know how I got them, or, or why do I have? Why am I missing some? That's a great question. Um, I always thought it was just by playing, just obviously through the campaign, completing it on different um, difficulties. But I'm not 100% sure. I'd, I'd have to check. That's a great question. Because as far Let's as I know, you didn't play this version, uh, the Xbox One version in, in particular. I think both of us started playing together at least that's what I, that at least that's what i thought i could be wrong so it says the files of re6 are unlocked by collecting serpent emblems within each character's campaigns each emblem you find will unlock a specific file you're shitting me so literally 
the the emblems, the blue things we're shooting, the medallions. Yes, yes. So at some point, I must have collected them all for Leon's, and that isn't surprising because I've played Leon's campaign repeatedly, even on this version, uh, more than the others. Okay, okay. That that makes sense. Yeah, it's like four. It's kind of like three, four different scenarios, isn't it? It's that kind of structure when they're yeah, they're yeah, like mini I think like with... games. Yeah, because I think like with Chris's, with um, Jake's and all them, I've played them definitely the least. Even or my original playthroughs, they were the least. I, I loved Leon so much, so I would keep repeatedly <laughs> playing his campaign. I still like it better than all the others, personally. Um, but, so it's, yeah, not surprising I have them all. <laughs> okay, so man, now I'm, I'm a little sad I didn't, I, I was like, fuck the medallions. I was never up to the, uh, the one to shoot blue things in Resident Evil That's surprising games. you said that, though, because you like collecting that stuff. Yeah, so. well, if it yields something like files, but I didn't know it does that. I thought it was just going to be like, oh, look, you got a figurine of Chris. Push the button, it goes. Well, there's your incentive ah. to get them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. Well, you know, I have you to fill in the blanks, so... Uh, mm -hmm. I see some of them are even about characters and enemies, which is what I'm really interested in because, you know, all of the enemies in this game have Serbian names. Some of them really horribly, horrible translations, but <laughs> that's what the fun is. All right. So you, you have you have the second file, right? Yeah, I do. Leon and Adam. Okay. Let me, Adam. You want to alternate? Yeah, go for it. Your turn. All right. Oh, hold on. There's something wrong with the chat. I can see in the mini monitor people are writing, but the Streamlabs chat isn't showing. Hold on. I'm refreshing it. <gasps> no. Connecting what to chat. What is this magic? Oh, that, that was... Oh, there we go. All right. Now it's loaded. God knows what happened. All right. Hello, love. It's Sasha. Hi, love. Hello, Sasha. Hello, dear. Oh, that was pretty good, man. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, second file. Leon and Adam. Leon Kennedy and U.S. President Adam Banford are not only close friends, but champions of similar causes. When President Banford was a high-ranking government official, he handpicked Leon, elevating him to his high-ranking status. The two men were both motivated by a righteous desire to root out bioterrorism following the events that transpired in Raccoon City in 1998. Adam had a reputation for being one of the few politicians with integrity, a man of his word, and Agent Kennedy found himself able to trust a man who had never directly faced the evils of bioterrorism. With mutual goal goals and a mutual respect they grew close together during uh, the clue the, again they grew <laughs> close my brain is just filling the blanks close they close grew they grew close during their 10 years of fighting bioterrorism together unfortunately their friendship is abruptly ended during a biohazard outbreak file three one with eerie echoes that might that mirror the tragedy of raccoon city when Agent Kennedy is forced to shoot and kill President Benford, which is the opening to this game. And that is correct. All right. Okay, let's go to... Oh, dear. Something has happened with my game. It appears to have frozen. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Really? Hey, my game is frozen. Hold on. Yeah, All right, no worries. So strange. All right, one second, everybody. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself for a second. Cause I'm gonna yeah, scream. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm back. Joe has fallen off. Joe has just like dropped off. Wait, where's my Xbox? Come back, Xbox. Bring my Joe back. I think he's restarting his console. He said his game, uh, his game got frozen. Got frozen? <laughs> just sounds ridiculous when you say it like that. It got frozen by Iceman. 
watch. Let's see if I can see if I can see his stream and see what's what's cooking. Oh, there we go. He's back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's like a weird thing. It's it's just with the Xbox app, it can get glitchy, and so it'll take like the the game capture and put it into like this tiny box, and then you can't do anything with it. It only happens once in a blue moon, but. Okay, so yeah, it's one of those bugs. Yeah, and the only solution is I can't even even if I close out of the Xbox app, it'll stay there. I have to reset the the console itself, just turn it off and back on, and then it fixes it. So, really weird. At least you know the fix, man. Yeah, yeah, it's the only fix that there is for this. Okay, so I'm back. Um, let me pop back in here. Do 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 do. Okay, thank you guys for your patience. Let me go back to. That's very nice transitions. I'm gonna say. Oh, that's pretty sexy. Look at my boy. <laughs> I learned it from you, hippie. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have it. Like, I just do simple fades. Honestly, that was pretty cool. It was like, ah, it's giving me some ideas. See, it just covers the screen and goes away. Hell oh, yeah. All right, we ready for file number three? Yep. All right, field operations support. Field operations support, FOS, is an organization operating at the highest level of the U.S. government. Its original mission was to provide support for agents from multiple U.S. intelligence agencies discharging their duties around the world. As the dangers posed by bioterrorism came to take priority for U.S. security, the FOS was evolved to oversee all operations that deal with response to and prevention of bioterrorism. The FOS was originally formed in 2011 by Adam Benford, with Ingrid Hunnigan installed as operations coordinator and Leon Kennedy as its chief field agent. So, 2011. That's like pretty new, a pretty new agency in the Resident Evil universe, actually. Yes. Yeah. I know nothing of this, so I'm glad we're going through, through these files. Yeah, this is wonderful. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if I really went through all this, even on my original playthrough. I never because it was kind of funny. Yeah, because when we went to the collections, I was kind of like taken aback, like this shit's all here, and I don't remember <laughs> this. That's probably because I didn't really dive into it. <laughs> yeah, look, they featured the Stagla gas station way more than RE3 remake. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they did. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Remember when the game starts in Tol Oaks, Texas? There's a uh, you actually see Stagla gas station. I think that's the one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's wonderful. You know, that's. That, these little details, I know it's like little touches. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, that's bit. what brings it. It's the atmosphere. It's the world I know. You know, I will talk a lot about this because I totally forgot to put Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes on my marathon list. I completely forgot about those two. So I got to add them, you know, in the long term schedule. But replaying RE3 remake recently, the thing that bothers me a lot is how we went from this tiny, like, very small, cute and, uh, industrial town into a metropolis, like, with huge buildings. It's not the same. It's like we went from, a, I don't know, some small town U.S. to New York City. It bothers me a lot that they did that. And I don't know why they had to do it. What was wrong with the small town backdrop? You know, it's a big change. It is a big change, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they do that, because it was like perfect, you know, especially in 1998, kind of like X-Files, Twin Peaks atmosphere. I think that's why we loved those games. That's why we fell in love with them as kids. Everybody I knew who played Resident Evil, even you, I talked about this with you. We all went like, yeah, yeah, Raccoon City, man. It's like my second home. I know every street we've been through. No, really, yeah, and that's why they keep wanting to, it seems like, go back or maybe even try to recapture it as they did with this one. Um, it's just, it's so iconic. And uh, everybody remembers it. I mean, the first thing they're going to think about when RE comes to mind is Raccoon City. I don't think that's ever going to change anyways. Um, and there's so much story that can come from it, even though it happens in what, like a day, like a day and a half, night, something like that. Um, you could still do so. I mean, look at Outbreak, for example, or Resistance. I mean, it, it, <laughs> it could just really go on and on, um, even from all just a matter of 24 to 48 hours. So... It's, well, it's more, it's uh, a that, week. It's an actual week for a September week, 20, yeah, let's say a week, yeah, I mean, October there's a lot, 1st. yeah, there's a lot you can explore there, so that's why it's near and dear to people's hearts. Yeah, I mean, even RE0, which went backwards, it was still interesting. Ridiculous at times, but interesting, going back, oh, they had a laboratory <laughs> shut down years ago, they were going to reopen it, but this guy was like, he came back from the dead. It's interesting stuff, I don't know. That's, it's it, mixed 
a little mystery, a little horror, and a lot of files, man. I, if you play Resident <laughs> Classic RE and you don't read the files if playing for the first time, why are you playing it? You know, I I don't get that unless because it's not like a, a kind of game that on first time you're gonna speed run. You speed run it after you fall in love with it, right? Yeah, no. The 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 lore, the the game itself is told through the novelizations that people leave behind, right? Yeah. You know all their backstory, then you start piecing everything together. It's part of the mystery. And uh, that's I get that's definitely why it was so appealing. It was interesting. I think in the um, the Resident Evil movies, I forget which one, but one of them I think maybe it was Extinction. They tried to to capture some of that to where the main character Alice she was finding files and she was reading them like someone left behind a journal saying, "Oh, Antarctica is free of infection." That's you know a complete oh, nod yeah. to the, the games totally of looking that. through the files. I yeah. totally missed that part. Yeah, they they do find that. True. Which is what we were doing now. We're going through files. It's my turn, right? <laughs> zombies. Yes. Zombies. Oh, file on zombies, literally. In 1998, a biohazard incident involving the T-virus contaminated the entirety of Raccoon City. Inhabitants infected by the virus succumbed to infection, but their corpses were re uh, reanimated by the same virus into shambling, flesh-eating creatures. Reports from the incident indicated that many of the revenants' eyes were glazed over and their skin had either decayed or been flayed. As these revenants re resembled the walking dead of horror fiction, <laughs> said Resident Evil, they were given the decidedly unscientific names, name of zombies. The source of the current biohazard event in Tall Oaks remains unknown, but the stages of infection of the victims bear a strike, striking resemblance to those of Raccoon City. For better or for worse, the appellation of zombie has been applied to these victims as well. Ooh, they are zombies. zombies. Yes, they are. So I'm missing the fifth one. I'm listening. So what's interesting is that outside border of Leon's machine, they're actually, they actually have pictures on them. So this one's a picture of Leon. Uh-huh. So if I click it, oh, it, it drops a figure. It's oh, not there. a file, it drops a figure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see some of them. I see Helena, I'm not gonna click on her yet. I see Simmons, I see the oh, enemies. Oh, and you can play his voice. Nice, so, so, uh, that's what I expected, the medallions. I'm not like, that's not as interesting as file. That's cool to but have. Do you, see, do you see that on my stream? Let me check, actually. Yeah, watch <laughs> it, let me show you, it's really cool. So just let me know when you're watching. I'm looking. Okay, so if I hit A on Leon, watch this. Isn't that cool? Ah, oh, like a <laughs> like a collectible uh, dispenser. Yeah, yeah. And then it will play his voice, and you can kind of spin around on it. That's really neat. I had no idea that was there. <laughs> really? There you go. I'm glad I wanted to do this, man. And I'm glad you wanted to do this. Because not everybody would love yes. to sit here and read files. <laughs> okay, then, so I guess I since it's not a file, I'll go to... Yeah, I'll go to row 2 and start there. Alright, so row two, we have Ingrid Hunnigan. Hunnigan. Ingrid Hunnigan is a 33-year-old mission coordinator for the U.S. Department of Defense's Field Operations Support. In 2004, she was instrumental in helping Agent Kennedy recover the then-president's daughter from a terrorist group. Level-headed and intelligent, she is competent at hacking into most security systems as well as handling the relevant mission intelligence. She is the guiding voice that has successfully delivered Agent Kennedy from many a perilous predicament. True. Completely true. Yes, indeed. Leon and the Raccoon City Incident. In 1998, a biohazard incident involving a man-made virus contaminated the entire town of Raccoon City. The town of 100,000 became ground zero for the world's single worst biohazard outbreak in the 20th... I'm sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> the clinical <laughs> naming of the event as the Raccoon City incident does nothing to express the tragedy and horror that occurred in that idyllic American town. See? They're kind of jumping in their own mouth. Idyllic American town, not a fucking megalopolis. <laughs> During the incident, a rookie police officer named Leon Kennedy was caught up in the nightmare. He was attacked by human infected, aka zombies, and umbrella-engineered bioorganic weapons. 
Against all odds, he and a few other survivors were able to escape from the city. He regretted that he was only able to save so few people that day. Man, that line break. Do you see that? <laughs> and the, yeah, um, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, so what weird. happened there? <laughs> I had nobody, nobody proofread it, I guess. <laughs> he was only able to save so few people that day, and the events that transpired in Raccoon City etched themselves in indelibly oh indelibly indelibly right on on his mind like he can't forget them right from that point right. on he wowed he wowed he vowed he would do <laughs> all he could to ensure the world would never see a tragedy like raccoon city repeated so wait uh i want to ask something how would you say because i've heard that i've heard different narrators in the series say it differently some say raccoon city raccoon city some say raccoon city Well, I've heard it, of course, both ways. I've always called it Raccoon City, but I believe even in I can't remember which specific RE game they do say Raccoon. So yeah, I, I've heard both. So it's it tom tomato tomato. I guess, but w w when ca Raccoon kind of instantly sounds like the animal to me, and Raccoon instantly sounds like the city. That's the division in my mind. Yeah, I mean if that helps, but I've, yeah, I've always called it Raccoon City. Thank you. All right, ready for more. All righty, so let's go to number three. Tall Oaks Cathedral and the Underground Lab. Standing out in the skyline of Tall Oaks is a cathedral that marks a plot of land that has been in the Simmons family for generations. This land primarily serves as a meeting ground for the family's secretive dealings, and there are many hidden passageways and booby traps to obstruct any potential interlopers. The current head of the family, Derek C. Simmons, recently had a portion of the underground chamber refurbished into a modern research laboratory so he could have scientists conduct research on the C-Virus. I didn't know that belonged to his family. There you go. That's that's really that's valuable That's good to insight. know. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Huh. Derek, Derek. Ah, there we go. Something for me to read. This is like... <laughs> no 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 offense but i think i just read it better because it's serbian well oh look they actually say a, they actually talk about it amazing the serbian word yeah yeah that's cool. look at that i didn't know they do that so it's lepotica would be how you pronounce it and we wouldn't spell it with ts it would be a, a c but i guess they did it so people wouldn't pronounce it as lepotica <laughs> so lepotica is a victim of the C virus, although one that is extremely mutated. The word Lepotica ironically is derived from the Serbian word for woman of beauty, or beautiful woman. The creature's body is covered in large pores that secrete, secrete a deadly gas. Anyone who inhales its fumes will die and be reanimated as a zombie. One creature has, a pot one creature has the potential to infect an area within a three mile radius. Ouch! Unlike a traditional zombie affection, which is spread by a zombie's bite or contact with contaminated blood, this creature turns the virus into an airborne agent, thus creating a contaminant that is harder to avoid. The bioterror attack that Agent Kennedy encountered in Tall Oaks was triggered by this creature. Oh, I did not know that! So that's how it. they just released the Lepotica into the town and that's what happened. It's amazing. Wow. That is amazing. So happy that we're reading the, these. There you go. Hey, Brown. Welcome to the stream, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Brown. Where's Brown? In your stream? Well, I mean, look at me asking, like, no, he's, uh, he just barged into your house. <laughs> <laughs> and he's playing some of the stepbrothers' lines. He's all, this house is a fucking prison <laughs> on planet bullshit. Oh, good one, brother. That's funny. <laughs> How you doing, oh, Brown? What's goodness. up, man? Where have you been? <laughs> oh, look, she's rotating. If I leave her, she's told. Man, these figures are better than the ones in RE4, not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, let me uh, let me drop mine here. There we go. This is all my 
There she is, Helena Harper. Let me play her voice. Man, they really worked on her butt, didn't they? You can't say that's accidental. Look at the pose. I mean, <laughs> it seems like every female character that seems to be the emphasis. Yeah, but Hel <laughs> Helena, they really let's say so. Unlike you know, Claire was just. She looked pretty human, pretty realistic. The original Claire Redfield, right? Jill Valentine too. Then uh, I think it was the first. First one was mm, what's the lady from Five, the Italian Excella Gione, right? She uh, Excella, yeah. She was uh -huh. extremely gifted, but you can say like she's like <laughs> she's uh, from a rich family, you know. She's she she values beauty above all, and well, her gifts, those gifted uh, attributes, is what made her, um, I guess, uh, as talented as she is. So. <laughs> that that was her weapon. <laughs> it was, yeah. She was a seductress. That's true. But Helena is. Uh, I was going towards Helena. Is of all the Resident Evil female characters, she, they made her gifted while still realistic. You know what I mean? Because Excel is a little. Right, yeah. She goes almost into the realistic, unrealistic. It's over the top. Yeah, she's yeah, running in I high agree. heels. That it's. <laughs> we can't ignore this, but like women with large breasts, it's not easy to move around. You know, it's just mm. they can't throw themselves around ship and just in high heels and keep perfect balance. So, you know, in in terms of realism, that like kind of falls off. But Helena works. Like the, her clothing, her stance, everything. As much as I, you know, what I think about Helena as a character, like fucking, you killed so many people. I don't like her, <laughs> but. You know, they they made her seem like a real person, and you know, props for yeah, that. Yeah, no, I agree. Brown, how does the audio sound? If you're still here, let me know uh, if it sounds pretty clear. Okay, I guess we're starting on what number three. Rogue yeah, Warriors? let's finish Leon and uh, Helena's since we're here, and then once we finish Chris and Jake chapter, we'll do those. Let's sounds start. good. Okay, let's see. Helena Harper one. Elena Harper is a 24-year-old U.S. government <laughs> agent. <laughs> All right, forget. I'm sorry. Forget everything. Is a 24-year. Nope. That. Nope. Not real at all. All right. Move on. You can't uh, undo no, you everything can't I said. It. it is in the lore. I'm <laughs> sorry. Fucking chat. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Day. <laughs> 34 would have flo flo flown by. Definitely. 30. Yeah. 24. Fuck you, Capcom. Just no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. 24. My ass. All right. Go on, Joe. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I no have worries. to let that uh, out. <laughs> Her sister Deborah is her only known living relative. During the Tall Oaks terrorist attack, she is dispatched by the U.S. Secret Service to protect President Benford. She's a woman of strong moral convictions and is very sympathetic to the plight of others, although she does let her emotions get the better of her from time to time. <laughs> yes, uh, she just causes an outbreak or two <laughs> when she gets... Just a little bit. <laughs> Come on, man. You could have done so much more with her. It just bothers me. She's kind of like the rotten apple in this game people complain about yeah peers. no one really mentions too much about her or anything like that you know that's how you know she had little impact because especially like with sheva for example i've heard people would like to see her make a return but you don't hear anybody clamoring for helena they don't get shit <laughs> so. yeah you're right actually well, sheva, sheva somehow was pop more popular even though i don't know they kind of they have a similar backstory but sheva's was more a little more personal because Personal early on because she lost her parents right in the umbrella factory and all that so I guess yeah. you know We were all as I remember Semi like late teenager me playing re5. I was like ooh umbrella. I'll get you <laughs> yep. But I don't feel that with with Helena. I would love to like I said she seems like she would have been a wonderful character But just holy shit. I get the longest files. I swear so hell <laughs> Helena Harper too. Helena Harper doesn't compromise her beliefs, and is not... You lied already three times in these files about her, and is not one to step aside and let others take charge. She does, however, have a tendency to let her emotions get the best of her. She was in the top of her class and the agency's first choice for the job, but officials were concerned that she would let her morals get in the way of her work. They were right. While investigating a series of murders, Helena successfully found and apprehended the killer. In the process, she used excessive force on the suspect and was suspended from the agency. She claimed she had to shut the killer up because she, he was making threats in front of the victim's family. After her suspension, suspension period was over, she found herself in situations where she couldn't maintain her self-control. When Deborah's boyfriend became abusive, an enraged he Helena shot and injured him. See, this is interesting shit. I didn't know that. 
Her superiors were unwilling to overlook her gr gross misconduct, but they didn't want to fire her, so they transferred her to the Secret Service. That makes it sound like uh, we don't know what to do with any officer, just shove him in so Secret we'll Service. Yeah, so yeah, we'll reward you for shooting a man. <laughs> God. <laughs> During the attack on Tolox, Helena was manipulated by Derek Simmons in his plan to assassinate President Adam Benford. Yeah, I want more on that before I, you know, scream more. That would be her. good to know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The catacombs. The catacombs that maze their way under tall oaks go back almost 400 years. They are the final resting place of not only members of the Simmons family, but those who had served the mysterious organization known as The Family. Yes, that's The Family from Texas Chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's the basement. burial chambers. <laughs> yes, exactly. These underground burial chambers are not known to the public, but the catacombs themselves are still protected by many elaborate contraptions to keep outsiders from digging too deeply into the family's secret affairs. Although the catacombs are primarily used by the Simmons family, the primitively constructive caves and altars hint at the existence of inhabitants prior to them. So, it's... It's a... Uh... It's an underground maze in Texas owned by the family. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. very suspicious. Indeed. Yeah, they're all at the top of their class, love. Nobody in nobody in RPD <laughs> stars or any of these is like he he's not like a diamond in the rough or anything like that. No, they were all perfect and all, all immune to virus. All perfect citizens, all perfect yeah. human beings. Yeah, they never, they never even like, they never even masturbate because God wants them like in perfect shape for for, for biohazards. <laughs> no, they, they. What was that? Was it Chris? Did Chris or Brad? Who had like a poster in one of the, in one of the original RE one? I think it was a Japanese edition where you see like their, like their working area or the back of, or was it one of the comics? Back of the chopper, there was a. One of those, you know, what I call like mechanic posters with uh, barely clothed girls. You know, like old mechanics would keep in their shops, something like that. I can't remember who was Chris or or Brad. But if it's Brad, it would make sense why Nemesis kills him and only him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Deborah. That's the sister. Okay. Deborah. Deborah Harper is a 20-year-old college... Oh, fuck off! Come on, I've seen her. She's not 20 years old. Jesus Christ. That's, that's a, I'm sorry, that's a 20-year-old woman. You can't... That, I mean, again, we're reading it. It says clear as day. I'm sorry. Super, like... Super soldiers? Accelerated growth? I don't care. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just read it. Just... <laughs> Can't wrap I'm not here to. It. I should. I should just fucking read the file. <laughs> so she's a 20-year-old college student and Helena's sister. No, I can't, man. That just makes her slightly older than Yoko. They don't look alike. They don't. They look like two people from from two different realities. <laughs> she fucks. <her. laughs> just bothers me so much when they full of shit like that. Here's a wonderful game. Yeah, they're all 16. Uh, this girl is 13, this and that kid is, is nine. Bullshit. Look, this is there's a fetus saving the world. That's like that's that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Unlike her sister, <laughs> Deborah is a carefree party girl. <laughs> Their different approaches to life are a cause of friction between them. But those issues aside, the two are actually very close. The two sisters' lives are thrown into chaos when Derek Simmons kidnaps Deborah and uses her for the family's C virus experiments. When Helena is reunited with her sister, it's not the happy reunion she had hoped for. Deborah had been turned into a hideous creature with no semblance of the humanity she once had other than the gentle facial features that hinted her former beauty. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's, let me drop oh, a Simmons. <laughs> Let's drop him. <laughs> Let's drop a Simmons. My job to Derek Clifford Simmons. Clifford. My job is what? My job to prevent terrorist His attacks. job is to prevent terrorist not attacks, cause not cause them. Thank you. You fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can go up and down. I didn't know. You can go up and Yeah, yeah, you can move it all over the place. Wow, that's beautiful, actually. And so smooth, too. Hey, Resi Evil 91. Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you here. 
we're just playing some RE6, currently going through the files right now, reading all this. Some of this is absolute junk with these ages that Hippie just can't get over. <laughs> <laughs> Leon Kennedy at the fun, age man. of two already defeated Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He defeated Umbrella from the womb. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Next row we have Leon and Ada. Ada Wong is a spy whose major activities occur off the grid. Not much is known about her, not even if Ada Wong is an alias or her real name. Ada first encountered Leon Kennedy during the Raccoon City incident in 1998 when Leon was a callow rookie police officer trying desperately to escape from the nightmare that had enveloped Raccoon City. Ada was in the city carrying out a mission for a rival company to the Umbrella Corporation. When circumstances threw the two together, Ada hid the nature of her activities while using Leon to help her carry them out. The life and death struggle they endured brought them closer together and Ada ended up saving Leon's life. Unfortunately, they had to make their way out of the city separately, but they could not forget what they felt for each other. Following their escape, their paths would cross from time to time. Leon as a US government, government operative and Ada as a spy. Ada makes no qualms about using Leon when it suits her needs, but Leon is loath to bring himself to be done with her. They don't consider each other enemies, but it's hard to tell how they feel for each other. Complicated is the word that aptly summarizes their relationship. Okay, hey, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it does. And they didn't say Ada's 14, huh? So, Resi Evil, how you been? How's everything? Are you, are you still streaming Resistance? I'm gonna have to drop by if you are. Man, I miss Resistance, honestly. Day it after misses you day. Too. <laughs> it was supposed to be our, our, our main game. And then life happened. But you know, I yeah, still play. Yeah, that was I the, still the, the basis of everything. and it's, That's why I started it's, streaming. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm good, yes. I still stream Resistance. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely have to, to stop by and catch one of your streams. I just started playing it again recently. It had been a while. Um, I got invited to play uh, by Rezo. It was kind of cool. Um, cues have been dead, um, <laughs> but could be just the times that we play. Yesterday was the fourth anniversary. Yeah, that's right, Hippie. You, I, I wasn't sure if you were aware, but yesterday was the anniversary of Resistance. Yeah, I got the... Uh, my phone told me my first days when Four I was just a wee years. baby playing. Can you playing. believe that? Can you believe <sighs> that? Four yeah. years. I, yeah, I watched some of our clips yesterday and today and just <sighs> had a lot of nostalgia. I, I was it looking hurts, for, I gotta man. find the one with the Molotov. I'm sorry, that's still my favorite. That moment that when everybody held their breath and the Molotov just flew and it flew out of the tiniest window in the world and just out of the map. We didn't see it anymore. <laughs> and Brown ended up eating. I can't, it's so funny every time I think Plastic. of it. And I, every, like the three seconds of silence and just hear Brown who's getting devoured saying, <laughs> he missed. He was kind of disappointed, but also entertained at the same time. <laughs> Let me give you a, a shout out. Resume Hello, I'm quick. just potato. Let me do that. Let me do that. One second. I highly encourage everybody to follow her, check out her content. It's really good. There we go. There we go. Welcome, potato one. How you doing? Oh, there you go. You're go you're about to see it. We're just reading the files from the first. So the game is. Well, let me actually say this for everyone because it's been so long. The game is divided into four, I think, distinct campaigns, which serve kind of like small scenarios. Which is no wonder because uh, it was produced by Resident Evil Outbreak's director or directed by the mm -hmm. producer, something like that. Ichiro Sasaki. So. The man clearly loves co-op and, you know, combinations, basically. So, the game can be played two to four people co-op, but in a weird way where two people play their campaign, two pe other people play their campaign, and they can meet up, fight bosses together, and then, you know, go on on their merry way. And uh, it's all kind of... There's a whole timeline in the game and everything. It's a little... A little bit tilted by Doom 64. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Really? Doom you don't like Doom 64? 64? Oh, I really like Doom 64. It's uh, yeah, it's it's an exploratory game, and it's 
it's different. It's a it's a it's more of a survival darker survival horror game, yeah. You know, but speaking it's worth of it. Doom 64, it reminded me of did you ever play Turok? I haven't. It's on my list. It's something I really want to play. Yeah, because I didn't realize that I think they at least remastered the third one, but I think they brought the, the trilogy back. And I think I was watching like a video of it and obviously it's more higher frames and everything, but it looks great, you know. Um, I remember playing that uh back oh, in the four and yeah, yeah, uh, just, it just reminded me of that. Yeah, uh, I, they did some of them. I don't know which ones I've seen on the Xbox, but you know me, I would much rather wait for... I, I'm, I'm tempted to try them, especially since they, I don't think they did the first one, right? But uh, Or did they? But uh, I would love to see that on N64, of course, because it's the same with Banjo-Kazooie. Mm -hmm. I beat it on Xbox 360, but as soon as I got it on N64... I popped it in again. <laughs> There's <laughs> yep, something absolutely. about it. When, oh, of course, with the right TV, like you can't play on this a large TV and just blown up N64 image looks horrible. With the right TV mm -hmm. and right settings, it can look still. Those games can still look nice, like interactive cartoons almost. Yep, absolutely. It's Doom. <laughs> I know, I know. People, so people. <laughs> that's that's maybe that's where the split comes. So my first Doom was Doom Three, right? Which is heavily inspired by Doom sixty four. And playing Doom one and two afterwards, I was like, okay, I'm not really. It's cool for the time, nineteen ninety three. We didn't even have Tetris back then, but uh, <laughs> it's. I love the I love the files. Obviously, I love to listen to the. Oh, your, your first was also 3. There you go. Well, 3 was heavily inspired by Doom 64. Those two people usually put next to each other because they're more survival horror oriented. But granted, in in the in Doom 64, they don't really tell you much what to do most of the time. So you got to figure it out. There's a lot of puzzles, pushing walls and all that. But it has replay. I don't want to spoil for you, but it has replay value. So once you get and beat the final boss, you'll realize, ha, huh, I could do this better because I realize now I can do something. <laughs> Don't want to spoil it, yeah, That's but right. it's it's worth it. It might click with you. Anyway, ha happy to have you here, potato. Potato. I, I keep calling potato, potat. Potato, potato, potat. All right, shall we? Uh, shall we jump on uh, file number three? The file number the next. File. Um, you haven't read file number two. Yeah, that's what I mean. Helena's crime, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do the even ones, that's right. Helena's crime. Uh, Derek Simmons coerced Helena Harper into helping him assassinate President Benford when he kidnapped her sister Deborah. Helena had no choice but to send out an alert over the Secret Services radio that a group had entered Ivy University with the intent to kill President Benford. The President was on the campus to deliver a speech, and the Secret Service made sure the President was secure before his speech. A number of agents were dispatched to look for the suspects. This created an opening Derek needed. Helena loved her sister, but she couldn't let herself be party to a terrorist attack. She rushed to the campus to entreat the agents to give up their wild goose chase and protect the president. Many of the agents were aware of her past infractions, so they were disclined to believe her. Then the attacks came. Because half the agents were out looking for assassins, the service was slow in evacuating President Benford. And was unable to save his life. See, this is valuable info they don't mention in the game. It just like starts with freeze, I have to shoot you in the face because you're a zombie. Yeah, and this is what I think hurts Elena's character development is because we don't really have anything on her and what we get is just the... Uh, this would be nice to have known beforehand, right? <laughs> just a, just yeah, a piece of this would have helped. These files would have right. worked a lot better in... Well, not these. I get why these are not in the game. You can find the file that talks about your character in-game. But if they did it, if they kind of made it mixed, like if she, Leon finds a file that says, Helena, Deborah is with us. I don't know, like, make a distraction. And then you read that, you're like, Helena, what the fuck is this shit? And then they talk about it. It would be much more... You know, but again, this is what we talked about with the original RE, is why they were so massively appealing with the, the documentation. That's part of the lore. You really took that out with Six, because there isn't no... There's not much stopping and, you know, going over the documents. I get it. They wanted this to be fast-paced, action-packed, all that stuff. But this is why... This stuff needs to be in there because you're already you're engrossed in the story. You want to know what's going on as the story is playing out. To read it afterwards, 
because you're assuming obviously they're going to read it afterwards because you're collecting the emblems as you go but some people may wait till completely finishing the game to read this stuff but it's good to know these pieces while you're enveloped already in the story so um, yeah yeah that's why this this doesn't really do too much for me i would have preferred in game but i mean the setup of this is cool but uh that's why the originals and the way they handle their their lore in game with the documents is, is uh, so critical actually i'm gonna let you read the third one because this is another serbian one. Oh, it's just brzak that's all every uh, every other word is english you're you're good. take it away all right no take it away all right Brzak is a victim of the C virus, although one that is extremely mutated. Brzak is derived from the Serbian word for rapids. Completely true. Its oral and ocular faculties are practically non-existent, so it relies on kinetic sensations based on movement in the water to hunt its prey. It will indiscriminately attack all moving prey, be it human or zombie. Cadavers that float in the water, however, do not interest it. So that's interesting, I didn't know that. So it can't, like, it can't see. What's oral? So ocular is see. Oral is that, I guess, scent? No, I don't know. But uh, mm. re so it relies literally on movement. So it's, I guess, it's sense of touch or some sort is improved. This is interesting shit because, like, in game, remember in Cold Veronica, you read about the, was an enemy, you're like, oh shit. In Outbreak, too, you read about giant bugs with pincers. You're like, right. comedy. Mm -hmm. And then 10 minutes later, ah, giant bug with pincers. I like that stuff. Giant bug. <laughs> Alright, next Actually, one. Actually, I'll let you take the fourth one. Okay, this one is, this one is, <laughs> this one is, yeah. Rasklapanje. Rasklapanje is a victim of the C virus, although one that is they're all extremely mutated. Rasklapanje <laughs> is derived from the Serbian word for demolition. Uh, that's not true. Rasklapanje means disassembling or disassembly, disassembling something. Demolition would be uništavanje. So, I guess Google Translate was the well, Google Translate for something translated in 2013. <laughs> can't really, but yeah. Potato, potato agrees. There you go. Cause like. You can't just... Why demolition? Because it, it makes sense as disassembly. It literally disassembles as you destroy it. But uh, all right. Between Japanese, Serbian, and uh, English, probably wasn't uh, easy to do this. What says next? The smooth white skin that envelops this creature is an exoskeleton designed to protect the slug-like part of its main body, located in the torso. Even if part of this creature's humanoid form is destroyed, it will not have any effect on the main body. These detached body parts can still search for prey independently and ensnare it. That's creepy. The flexible nature of its structure allows it to pass through narrow openings like ventilation ducts and other tight spaces. Its primary weakness is fire, and when it encounters intense heat, its main body will leap out of its humanoid exoskeleton to escape danger. That's interesting, so we can use fucking fire grenades for it perfectly instead of shooting it forever. I gotta try that <laughs> shit. We need fire. Very gross. It's a very... I think this enemy was at least slightly inspired by either Marcus's uh, leeches, what were they called? Mimicry Marcus's? Or the leech man. But more like Mimicry Marcus from RE0, honestly. Because it moves like that kind of, you know, twitchy and sl makes sloshy sounds when it walks. A sloshy sound. Yeah, it only <laughs> you can hear it's like slugs and wet on concrete. I just popped out President Adam Benford. Yeah, look at him. The collection. Look, look at this man. He kind of like from a certain we? angle, he looks like uh, Colonel Sanders. I have always valued your friendship. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's Colonel Sanders' grandfather. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I have always valued your friendship, Leon. So they said the the, the tunnels were there for four hundred years. How long has the United years, States yeah. existed? It's it's been less than four hundred years, hasn't it? Unless my history is off whack. That's a great question. Well, when was when was when when was the Civil War ended and U.S. founded? Well, at least that that's like. Well, let's find out. Eighteen something. Seventeen seventy six. Seventy seven six. So let's say another hundred years before. So literally, they're saying that the first European settlers, uh, Simmons's family was one of the first in the wild fucking west of Texas. They already had 
underground. That was one interesting town, Tolox, Texas, in the 1600s, mm -hmm. 1700s. I would have liked that's like Back to the Future 2.0 right there. As in like Back to the Future 3 2.0. Hello, Mother of Hippie. Hello. Zdravo, my Kumila. Welcome. Mother Hippie is in the stream. Everybody, drop your joints. Jeez. <laughs> hide, hide all your stashes. Hide your, yeah, hide all your stashes. There you go. All right, Adam Benford. Alrighty, let's see. Um, final row, we have Derek C. Simmons. Derek C. Simmons, 46 years old, is an aide to the President of the United States. He is a ruthless perfectionist, a personality well disposed to rising to a high echelon of power in government. He is the current head of the family, a secret fraternity of powerful movers and shakers that have manipulated the development of the Western world for centuries. This organization will do whatever is necessary to ensure stability and world order. Fearing the ensuing chaos that would result from President Benford's plan to reveal the truth about the Raccoon City incident, Mr. Simmons orchestrates his own bioterror attack where the president would be but one of the many casualties. What does he mean by that? Like, uh, the truth about the Raccoon City incident. What truth, what, what did they hide? What truth is there to know? Um, I don't know if it has to do... Because at this point, it's already well known Umbrella was the cause, right? Well, yeah. I mean, unless they mean like the government's involvement because uh, they had Umbrella had contracts with the U.S. Army and... So it could be that... Well, yeah, because I think in the animated films, um, you know, there's different agencies that were interested or gaining the... You know these viruses or bioweapons or anything it didn't just extend to umbrella it was far beyond that and i think uh that's what the government didn't want to get out is they they have some sort of involvement because i think uh you know they had interest in this type of uh weaponry for their own their own means yep and i remember some reading somewhere i don't know if it was even fucking re8 <laughs> Uh, we'll get to that, but like my my opinion at the at the at the file bomb at the end of RE8 just makes me want to puke. But maybe there, maybe somewhere else, it was said that Spencer, maybe in RE5, Spencer actually used all these contracts just to spin money while he was going towards his own goal, becoming you know making an actual uh, species of super, superhumans, which he would govern. So he wanted to live forever and all that. So he wasn't really interested in working with the U.S. Army or and I don't know who else was. There were different organizations, true. They were selling different secrets to, uh, working on weaponry, not just bioweapons. They made actual fucking weapons. And remember, in, at the end of RE3, uh, U.S. Army brings in um, an experimental railgun. Or was it even developed? I don't think it was developed there. I think they brought it there. But I'm not sure. In the original, in the remake, they changed that. It was always developed by Umbrella. But hey, Susie different... Nightmare, welcome to the stream. Thank. She says, uh, "Cute emojis." Hello to you too. Thank you for stopping by. All in all, I think there's some... more money in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just doing some RE6 uh, lore reading here. We're almost done. Almost to the bottom of this cabinet. Yeah. How are well... you doing today, Susie? think it's your turn my friend i have this one and the fourth one uh, i don't have the third one so it's perfect <laughs> awesome derek's first transformation all right you're not william birkin get the fuck out of here back of the line boy because that's what he does he, he goes full on willy remember oh uh, yes that's right that's right yeah that's uh, that's literally where they took it from derek's first transformation all right after Derek Simmons is injected with an enhanced C virus, he enters a stage 1 mutation. At this stage, his upper body maintains a humanoid appearance, and his violent tendencies are amplified. So he's even more of an asshole? He has <laughs> yet to lose his sense of self. His legs, however, transform into something beast-like, and he is powerful enough to outrun a high-speed train. He can also use shards of his own bone as projectiles and can fire them off with deadly accuracy. 
any bone matter lost in this matter is regrown thanks to the effects of the sea virus. There's Resident Evil bullshit that bothers me for from four onwards. It's not bullshit. This is the lore. How dare you? Yeah, but like they don't explain where does he find fucking physical matter to like not just to mutate into five times his original mass even more ten Hippie, times must you really question this i have to man i'm a man of science it's like the at I least the classics <laughs> as as goofy as they were they 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 explained this shit but from four onwards they just expect you to go with it airwing yeah. mutates into a fucking whale how i don't know he uses water <laughs> he says love to see two passionate guys talking about re lore yes you'll definitely find a lot of passion here especially for my man hippie over here oh. who has issues with age ranges and all this other shit but i'm gonna give you a shout out Susie. let me go ahead and do that definitely check out Susie. it's very nice to have thank you it's very nice to have re fans dropping in on re6 this game has a bad bad name and i think it deserves way more as we've demonstrated and we'll continue to demonstrate it, of all the over the shoulder resident evil games this is the one and this is my main <laughs> always my main argument this is the one that let, gives you control over the character you're not just a stiff bar moving around the level stopping to shoot you're because I think RE2 and 3 remakes owe it to RE6 being able to walk and shoot and like move like a human. Okay, there we go. All right, let's move on to file three, which you said you don't have, right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm listening. I'm watching let's it. see, Derek's second transformation. As the C-virus infection begins to take root in Derek's body, he enters a stage two mutation. At this stage, Derek's body resembles a gigantic dinosaur and his muscular musculature is quite dense. Unlike the stage one mutation, stage two Derek behaves instinctually instead of rationally. His driving force is to devour his enemies, and he even goes as far as to leap into the sky and attack a helicopter Ada is piloting. He get went full on enemy. He did. <laughs> full on enemy. <laughs> okay, one more file. Can you do it? Yep. Yeah. Yes, I can, sir. Derek's. Yes, I can. Derek's third transformation. <laughs> Derek's third transformation. Derek's body continues to mutate, and he enters stage three. Derek's humanity is completely gone at this point, but his survival instinct remains. He ingests multiple corpses in order to give his body the organic matter needed to assume this form. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you get mutated. You can't just do it out of thin air. You gotta eat something or absorb something, something. He finally gets the answer. He's there you go. Finally. We don't see that in game, at least not in the first, but I'll forgive them. They 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 tried and this is the forgiven forgive I forgive you for Irving I forgive you for Salazar who fucking <laughs> outgrows the castle for all. for all this one thing this this is you did the bare minimum and that's all I asked so there you go if oh, <laughs> he becomes the Uber R yes. <sighs> all right so there you go he eats and he grows like a good boy this new hideous like form, a good boy <laughs> form resembles an amalgamation of multiple insect species. When stage 3 Derek loses a limb or other body part, he can even regenerate it by ingesting more corpses. He could in theory live forever as long as there are corpses for him to ingest. Now that is a fucking bioweapon. I can't believe I'm rooting for Derek motherfucking Simmons. There you go. You make me sick, but at the same time I understand. <laughs> Let's see, bloodshot. I have bloodshot. What the hell is this? What do you have? What's the first one? You have all of them unlocked. Oh, the... How do you say it again? The Lipe... Lepotica. Lepotica. There you go. Yeah, I have that one. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Wait, where's that? That's the first? Oh, it's... It's grotesque. Yeah, that's the... Okay. That's the fourth. <laughs> yeah, it's... Whew. Oh, Looks stinky. nasty. <laughs> well, I don't have that, so... Well, actually, phew, I... It's a, it's, it's, I have it's, the whole bottom row too, so mutation the has them all. The so far left, yeah. So let's go ahead and go through the whole bottom row. This one is what in God's name is this Whopper and Whopper Supreme? Are we talking about like the Burger King Whopper? Is that? What oh, I didn't is? know they were called that. What the fuck? Yeah, the, Whopper. They're the bus guys. Remember when they mutate into like 
Not just fat, oh, but that's heavy. Adorable. Oh, he's. I don't know if you can see this on the stream, but they're posing. Yeah, the f fucking sexy pose. I love <laughs> doing that amazing. in Resistance with the with the fat zombies. You know, make them do the sexiest dance while they're sipping oh, ooze all my around. God. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Th thank Look you for sharing that. this. All right. Absolutely. Okay, so we have that one. Next one we have is Bloodshot. Well, l listen to their sounds. Oh, well, thank you for including that. I was I always wondered what the worst sound in the world sounds like when not spoken by Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> awful. Really awful. Next one we have. Let's see. This one is the Shrieker. I love your baby Xenomorph, Joe. It's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Okay, that's the Shrieker. Shrieker's Next big, one we man. have... Yeah. What's that Serbian word again? How do you say that? Brzak. Brzak. Well, it's oh, like that's with... that, that sea creature thing. Yeah, the fish. Well, that's why they, it's uh, rapids. Yes. But uh, look, uh, it has a, a person almost coming out of it. Its tongue is another face. <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of xenomorphs. Disgusting. And then last but not least, we have... What is this? Uh oh, Deborah. Everybody's disappointed. <laughs> look at that face she has, though. She well, doesn't she, look very She's happy. 20 years old, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> totally legit. Yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at that! Your xenomorph talks, man. I yeah, yeah. That's so when someone pretty, comes that's in, really it'll, cool. uh, yeah, it'll greet them and such. That's really, that's really nice. There we go. Well, that concludes Leon's cabinet. We actually finally got through it. <laughs> we did it. Boom. Oh. Thank you for that ban. I appreciate Purge. <laughs> thank you for that ban. That's the no, Twitch is like streaming is the place where you hear people say thank you for that ban. Nowhere else can I imagine mm -hmm. that being a, <laughs> a fucking word. But you, those are those are the lengths we have to go to. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we did it, man. Exactly. Let's go play some fucking game. We uh, took us actually. They're shorter than the RE5 files, you know. There are more of them, but they're mm -hmm. shorter. Da, na, na, na. Okay, so who's the question now is who's gonna host? It's episode five. You're you're hosting the odd ones. Okay, so let me go ahead and set oh. this up then. I did not know that potato. So I never played Dark Souls. I want to get uh, the first one was Demon Souls. Yeah, I want to start from from this from scratch. But it's on the list. There's plenty of games to play. So that's. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. I've seen a bit of like scarce clips of the game, of uh, the Souls games, so I know there are colossal things people fight, and I know there's oh. timing. Oops. I need to put back on the music. My bad. <laughs> Don't want to forget this wonderful jam. How did it go? How do I join you? I forgot. Uh, you, I gotta wait for an invite, right? Yeah, uh, I, I yeah. gotta set up the lobby. Once okay, I'll, I'll wait. Wonderful. Actually, I'm gonna go grab a glass of water. Be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. We're about to start the game. Normal. Okay. Fun. Yep, should be good. All right, everybody, just stand by while we wait for Hippie to join. Already, I'm back. Ready, spaghetti? Do I have? Yes, I do. Do I? I can just accept this, right? Is it... Accept it. Hurry. This is the only game that does this, and every time it scares me that something's gonna break because it does the system prompt. 
You have received mm-hmm. an invitation from Mutation X2, addressed to Hippie Tesla. <laughs> like, who else? The president? Do I accept this Maybe, invite? You never know. Yeah, like, it could be addressed to Brown Kulo, but yeah, we are getting it. <laughs> you will end the current game wow. session before moving into the new session. Any answer? I'm not in a session! Wacky game! <laughs> Switch to authorized game session. Just throwing words at me now. Have you ever held, had one of those old Sony Ericsson phones before the smartphones? The Sony Ericsson phones? Yeah, Sony, you know, Sony. Sony, Sony. You have to show me a picture of it. Well, they had many models, but like that's one of the bigger... I know US had their own phones, basically. Oh, action starting right away. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's a smart man. But anyway, they had this when they would ask you, like, you want to send the, you want to send a message. You say send. Are you sure you want to send a message? Yes. Are you sure? Sure. Are you absolutely like fuck yeah? Just send sure, a message, sure. man. Sir. Are you a hundred percent positive? <laughs> you remember. You remember. Captain. Captain, my captain. Where is she? She's leading Neo Umbrella. All these terrorists. She in the city or not? She's been sighted several times since the attacks began. Yeah, she's here. Oh, he thinks it's. Yeah, I remember now. Good. Mm-hmm. Did he shove Leon already? Did we what? Did we run into Leon already? Oh, yeah, we did it with Leon. Now we got to do it with him. Now we're on Chris's side, yeah. Yeah, you know when Leon and him finally meet for the first time, but instead of. Instead of like being, hey, yeah, this bro. is the part where we fight that invisible snake fucking thing, right? Yeah, Illusia. Oh, it's so smooth. It's like, weird. let me remember my moves. Hiya! Chua! God, it's been Spe- so long. Okay, that's how we Special aim. agent. Look at me, I'm doing the barrel roll. Special agent barrel roll. You can do forward, right? Do a barrel roll. How do, you, how do you roll like that again? I forgot. You hold the left trigger and then you use the stick, left stick and A button to do the acrobatics. Whoa. I love this one. I love. Hi-ya! You Perfect. can just dodge. Okay. If you just do left trigger and and A, that's dodging downwards. You can do the Power uh, Ranger okay, pose. Gotcha, Look gotcha. at me. I'm exercising. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting in uh, his uh, his squats there. Oh yeah, the, there's a lot of RE games on Game Pass right now, honestly, and they just released oh, RE2 remake and RE3 remake. Uh, for PC Game Pass, uh, Potato. So there are oh. Windows Xbox versions now, which just run much Dodge. better than on Sirius X even. The MP Salt Shotgun. Oh yeah, what do I have? 909, Salt Shotgun, Assault Rifle, and a Combat Knife. 909. Oh, anti-material rifle. What's it's my main ginormous. thing? How do we do the thing? Something with Y button, I think? Y, no. Do all oh, your special thing? Yeah, what was it? Something with Y. Can't remember if it's hitting uh, both the LB and RB. Or maybe, maybe. No, it was something with Y. But it'll be. If I were Leon, I would know. I think for me, it's the knife, isn't it? Uh, y just changes, I guess. Uh, on my rifle, goes from, I think, automatic to single. Let me check the. Can I check the options? Cause I. It's been a while. I gotta remember the. Fucking yeah, games. I can't remember all this. We fucking haven't played in ten years. Controller settings. Let's see. Tech button. Oh, is, oh thermal scope. That's cool. Well, Look what? at that. Oh god, it's just. It's not even there's. You can't see the f- control scheme. Well, I'll remember. It was something. I know you use Y. I'll figure it out. Ow, you shot my foot. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think they took... if I could push you off. <laughs> can you? <laughs> no. Can we fall even? Oh, shit, we can fall off. We have off. to go, we, we have have to to go, go down, down there, yeah. yeah. Is there a blue medallions? Now I'm obsessed with them. Show me Yeah, all now the... we gotta find them. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah, because I'm already missing one. Alright, never mind. I'm going... I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I don't see Yeah, any... you're the leader. I'm falling. Am I'm I? Oh, yeah, I'm Chris. I'm the older. Listen here, rookie. This is how you do this. You come to the edge, son of a bitch. you come to the edge, the camera glitches, then you go to the other edge, and then you press A, rookie. There you go. Ugh. Whee! 
Oh look, that guy's making mushrooms. Dang, he's just burning. <laughs> it's, I, I, I can live with it, so each campaign has a different menu. Uh, potato. They actually made it so Leon's is a cell phone. It's actually the most intuitive one. Chris's is, I don't know what this is supposed to be, like a weird What's this? PDA thingy. And I forgot what the, what the third one is for uh, Sherry and Jake. Was it Jake? Jake, Jake, Jake Sully. Wake, 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 Jakey. What the hell? I thought my camera was mixed again. Oh God, it's a demon! Because you love Yawn from Resident Evil 1. We're giving you the same thing, only it's invisible, Help so you an can't HQ. even enjoy it. It's Yawn's brother. Pierce, yeah. Marco, everyone on me. We're Yawn's brother, Dawn. You heard the man, people. Let's move. <laughs> oh, is that a medallion? Look up there. No, Where? It's not. Where? I'm, ju I'm just seeing them everywhere now. Can you can you stop giving me like false alarms? No, I can't. That's literally what I am in, in a nutshell. They call me false alarm. <laughs> Man, this looks more like fucking Raccoon City than Raccoon City in RE2 remake. Why is why? Look how like I Tell like this. Tell me why. This is China. That's not China's not supposed to look like Raccoon City, but there we have it. Oh, gotcha, great boulder punching Chris Redfield can't go through a duct tape. Can't get through this. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's the, the super duct tape. Look here too, man. I mean, I've been told when I was a kid uh, in China, every village has its own plastic, which uh, can go from range, range from perfect to shit. But I think this is the village with perfect oh, shit. plastic. <laughs> can we melee? I can't remember. Can we melee? Yeah, you can. The button is... Uh, yeah, it's just trigger without aiming. That's right. And then you can use it with sprint. You can like sprint gotcha. and then hit. Hoya! For me, it's the shoulder barge. There we go. Okay, yeah. good, good. What about back and? Oh, yeah, you can. Chris you can do the back scared. punch. You can do the bitch slap with your elbow. Hoya! No, no, backwards, backwards. I know oh, you can there do that. Huh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you turn towards the camera and then, uh, but it uses stamina. They used to have RE7 on the on the Game Pass, but I don't know why they removed it. It's so RE7 is I'm... was sorry, Joe. No, I was gonna say I'm sure they'll bring they'll bring it back. I think they do like a rotation with all the REs. I've noticed. Yeah, they. Because it's really sad they exclude that one, you know, from... from uh... That one's so good. Well, it is, you know. I don't know if you're trolling me now. I love 7 a lot. <laughs> but, no, uh... no, really. I loved 7. No, it's... I mean, to be honest, we wouldn't be where we are. I mean, Resident Evil was on a decline. Let's just be honest. It was on a decline. And 7 is what, I think, opened back up the door to the possibilities this franchise can go. Um... Because I didn't know where six uh, to personally, and I, I've told this to Hippie before, and in case the audience doesn't know, I had actually lost interest in RE after six. I just didn't really care anymore, you know. And you know, I've been heavily invested in it for such a long time, but just after six, it just kind of um, just didn't feel like it was really anywhere else, you know what I mean? And then Seb came in and just kind of blew everything out the water and said, "Yes, Resident Evil has a place in the future." And lo and behold, here we are. We have remakes, we have a lot of stuff, so you can thank Seven for that. Yeah, it did really bring it out of the mud. Uh, it's the best Resident Evil since Resident Evil 1. <laughs> I mean, of the kind, you know, in the large yeah, mansion and all that. But, uh, yeah, I was going to say Seven. Uh, Seven it was the first xbox play anywhere game i remember that when seven came out it was the first game that came out simultaneously on xbox one and pc and you could like play on one and then just jump on the other and you know use the same save it synced between yep. devices and i don't know why they didn't do that with two and three remakes it's like both capcom and microsoft have the same habit of like here's this amazing new thing we just made and we're not advertising it enough huh nobody's using it never mind we'll just fucking throw it away <laughs> Hello Mayo, welcome Mayo Setsuna, it's so hard to call you. 
Mayo Hazard now. Mayo, Mayo, welcome Mayo. to the stream. Mayo, do you wanna be? Do you wanna? Do you wanna attempt? I don't. Mayo knows all the Agent Hunt and all the Crossroads places. So if Mayo feels up to it, and this is more Mayo's time than my previous streaming schedule, Mayo is very welcome to join. Join Joe and me in RE6, Mayo. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll never forget when Joseph just blurted out of nowhere. It was a ch chat, I think. Oh, Mayo's here. Let me bring my ham sandwich or something like that. I I laughed so much. It's such a dumb, but such a wonderful <laughs> I, joke. I don't know. Every time I read that name, that's what comes to mind. It's <laughs> yeah. Manny, so. <laughs> I'm amazed um, he got Mayo's but if you do, back. If yeah. you do decide to try to join Mayo and you have trouble, uh, let me know. Because I can't remember if Agent Hunt is enabled. Because I didn't check it before we got on. I think it is, because it's just whatever we originally set. But in case there's any trouble, that could be why. Oh, he can see. If he can find the match, it'll tell him Agent Hunt's enabled or not. Okay. Mayo's gonna, Mayo, Mayo okay. might feel like... Uh, oh, he said lurking. All right, I didn't see that. I was going to say, <gasps> Mayo He's might lurking. feel like uh, killing Hippie a little more. Remember how he tortured me with the fucking dogs? <laughs> I couldn't... That I'm was trying to, <laughs> classic. I'm trying to fucking just... Look at the corner to see what's in the room, but every five seconds a new dog comes and bites me in the face. <laughs> I have a clip of that where we got into that building and you're just you're doing a one on one with the dog. Yeah. Just yeah. trying your best to kick it and you can't do it. It's, I was like, I gotta do gold. it. <laughs> 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 but they respawn so fast. Uh and I've watched Mayo play it before. It feels like proto resistance where you control the creatures. You yep. control more creatures than in resistance. You control dogs, that looks so fun. This guy seems bored by what we're doing. But I was going to say just one thing, more thing before we move on. So Mayo, Mayo, Mayo's account got the whole two-factor identification, you know, when you lose your phone and you can't go back. So he had to open a new account. And now he's Mayo Setsuno again, which amazing that twice already. So his old account was Mayo Setsuno before he renamed it into Mayo Hazard. And now he's Mayo Setsuno again. And nobody took that name. It's, it's like, it's... It was a fairly popular anime, if you know what I'm talking about, Sailor Moon, right? Did you guys have that in the U.S.? I think oh, yeah, yeah, it was very popular. It's, I think it still has a, a following here. I wouldn't be surprised. It was, like, so big, especially the early, late ni 80s, early 90s here. Man, it, it was all the rage, notebooks, everything. And it's a, it's, a pop, it's a popular cartoon with a popular character, but then there's our Mayo nabs the name. Unless he missed it. There's Darmeo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whew, I'm ready. Hey, you're the leader. I'm just following. Oh, yeah, you. I'm the leader. Listen here. Follow me, man. Uh, Let's go. I'll watch my, I mean, your back. Yeah, you guys go on ahead oh, and show me it, how it's done. Oh, look, there's the playground. You remember that? We can go down oh, the slide. Oh, yeah. Was that with these two? Can we? I thought you could. Oh, yeah, from here. That was with Leon and Helena, but we can do it. All right. Wait, this one, there was there was one you could. Yeah, the both of these you can. I think there's something. Oh, you, you can go slide. on the pan. Oh no, I was gonna say. I thought you can go on the pan. You yeah, can like, jump over it. Oh, I I can pose. I think. Wait, I think Chris can. Yeah, Chris can pose. Look at this. Oh, okay, it's Chris, not Pierre. Yeah. Oh, that's bullshit. Look at it. Why can't Piers do it too? <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grown man, look at it. Wee panda. It's kind of weird. And then he goes the like, panda's uh, like looking at you. I had to screenshot that. Let me see. Let me see. That's yeah. That's the screenshot of the century. I'm not gonna exit the game. I want to ride the panda. I think you can use this if you go look. Oh, I can go look. What the oh, fuck? I can. <laughs> I know you can. Throw a little personal jungle gym. Yeah, I think Pierce can go here and slide down for a pose or something. He can like. Oh, there we go. Like this. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. I'm still in here. So how do you get up there? You just climb, and then you you gotta uh, position yourself until you get a button and a magnifying glass, and then you do something sexy. Wee! Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think you can do it on the panda as well. You just gotta stand in front of. Look at it! Look at! Look at! Look at! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he goes face first. <laughs> that's awesome. Try the panda now. Just stand near it and wait for the A prompt. I think that there's a possibility you could do. Yeah, something. the A prompt is just to jump over it but i don't have a magnifying prompt oh it doesn't when you stand uh, so don't move you gotta stand at the right spot so i have jump over but when i stand here exactly it turns into magnifying glass so try it on this side let me try let me see 
a little more to the right. Do you get anything? Maybe Pierce just doesn't care about Panda. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now it looks sure. like you're rubbing your wee wee against Panda. Stop that. <laughs> Pandas rubbing are. The winky. <laughs> Pandas are nope, in danger. Nope, can't do it. Because of people like you, Bullshit. Pierce. Well, you can do that one at least. Yeah, this one doesn't work, but this one works. Yeah, it's just that one. The blue one doesn't. So I go like, wee! And he goes <laughs> like a snow angel. Wee! Like a, like a water snow angel. That's sad. Why why did, why can't Pierce use the panda? What does he have against It'd panda? be hilarious to actually you'd see like fellow soldiers and they're just watching Pierce and freaking Chris just go down the slide during all the chaos. Resident Evil 6, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, thank you, love. Pa that panda's just staring into your soul. Yeah, that's really weird positioning. Why not on his back? Why like this? Oh, God. It just <laughs> Stop it. Dirty. Dirty. Stop it now! <laughs> Look, a map! Yeah, I don't understand. Poise I can't poise read that shit. Poise so there's, oh, there's, there's some English right there. You are here. Okay. Uh, okay. What about here? Oh, can you do... Can you climb on this? I can... Can we get over? No? no? I think maybe that's for later. I don't know what's the point of this. Can I push it? Nope. Or maybe... No, you can't. Maybe jump from no. one to another. Just to climb it, that's it. I don't see any blue medallions yet, but I know there will be some, like, in the windows up there. That My nephew showed me that, because he, he played this game way more. He was like, look at that up there with the sniper, and you shoot. Look at it, it's up there! So if you happen to see it, just scream. All right, all right, man, yes, here's sir. what we're doing. I'm gonna... We're gonna open the gate Busted. because one person can't open this gate. That's oh, partially shit. open. That's odd. <laughs> that's like Look ready. That's that's like their version of ready. You gotta be in position, both of you, huh? What the fuck? Why did you show me Some that? of the sound effects, and particularly this little tune that they got going on, it sounds like Alien when it goes... Trum! It kind of sounds... That's like an effect that they have in Aliens. Which I is know cool. what you mean, oh, yeah. Okay. You see it? Yeah, you yeah see I see it. it. Bing! To unlock files and figures. Look, the game says so, but I never paid attention. It's like Blue Medallion. Merchant wants to give me a golden egg. Nice. Well, um, maybe if you learned how to read. Maybe, yeah. They always said I shouldn't have skipped that class. <laughs> okay, let's move in, but be careful. Oh, green herb. Oh, there's an herb over there. You see it too. Yeah, we don't. We the 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 items are instanced. That's that makes it weird for me because, you know, you see your version of items and I see mine. Your yeah. Points. Oh, this is bullets. Oh, shotgun shells. Oh, there's there's one over there, that I just broke. Thank you, I didn't see okay. that one. This is a uh, uh, skill points. Yeah, I got the skill points from both. Okay. Oh, another one That's here. Only what is this? Oh, is that for my rifle? Yes, it is. Very nice. Very good. Wait, what did it do? So just why? Opens the menu. Huh. I see door. Oh shit, I reloaded. I didn't want to reload. A is going up. I try I pressed X for some reason. <laughs> door. What Get door? Okay. Who's that? Jill Valentine? Right? There, door. right? Is she the one? <laughs> ah my Oh sorry. <laughs> Jumped on your head. <laughs> Damn rookie, you just fucking destroyed Boulder Punch and Chris Redfield. Maybe if you moved your fat ass I wouldn't. Hold do on. That. Damn, can you just open the door, gentlemen? Fucking savages. Is this how you Sorry, open doors? Sorry, we have to and... make our presence known here. Yeah, I never actually asked. Oh, why, God, why he's was... got a weapon! Why was Chris in Serbia? They never Shoot. talk about that. It's a little glitchy, a little laggy, you know, when you're with the host in this game, but it works. I love melee in this game. It's so cool. It's what the so fuck much was, fun. What was this guy doing if these guys were just standing there? Wait a second. 
just watching. I guess just, it was... they're like in awe. Yeah. It's the legendary boulder punching Chris. <laughs> you don't need us. We're just here to cheer him on. They're there just to look uh, scary. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee, Rick. I don't see any uh, blue. Blue. Wait, that looks bluish to me. Uh, I don't see any blue medallions here. I'm looking here. I see some blue lights, but they're not medallions. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, let's keep going up. <laughs> Did okay, I just okay. bang my head? And... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Did I just drop down? Wait. Yeah. What's happening? They're the big ones, watch out. Assault shotgun time. Did you get him? Oh shit. There he is. Oh yeah, I melee him. I have no... I can't aim. You? Where are you? I don't see you. Oh, I went up the ladder. Oh, I fell down when they... Uh... Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, did they knock confusing. you down or did you go down your own? No, he just jumped. When he saw them, he jumped down to fight them. So I killed him. Oh, okay. I can hear them screaming from there. Let's look around. Some no. shit behind this door. All right, I'm ready. Oh. Yeah, I'm ready. There's no more. Oh, my God. This is the... Oh, shit. He's got a dick in his head. Nasty. Oh yeah, I can do that. That's right. Oh. Gears of Hazard. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Son of a bitch! Oh, oh god, just... <laughs> 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 Looks like an old WWF match. I, I don't see what's happening to me, but I just see you jumping on something behind the counter. Some shit behind this wall, hippie. Oh wow, you can oh. you can really do a lot of shit. You just gotta remember. Ah oh. oh, fuck! Oh, I thought this me. was a friend. Oh. Oof! Wow, I just broke his spine. Don't hurt him. He's nice. Never mind. Wow, you just you sh you punched him in the ball so hard he disintegrated. The way they dissolve. I don't know if you ever saw the the movie. Um, what is it? Uh, Blade Two. But the way the vampires dissolve, it's kind of the same effect. Yeah, it is. You're right. It is. <laughs> All right, let's see. You know why they do that in games? Why they dissolve enemies? Isn't that to, just to save like the processing power, so they don't have any? Yeah, exactly. Over the, map? the resources. That's the best way. Yeah. You don't have the bodies around. That's why I respect games like Silent Hill, where every corpse is literally where you left it. Mm-hmm. Adds a little. That's RE1 remake, man. They come back to life. Let me just check the ceiling. Nothing. If he just wants to be sure. Yeah, the, the the that was such a good addition, having to burn them or decapitate them. An RE remake? Yeah. I yeah, love yeah. That. I thought it was really cool. You really have to think that you got. I love when game makes you work with the map. When the map is not something you just walk on, but something you you know. It becomes part of the gameplay. Like Code Veronica, you know? <laughs> there they are. It's Sherry and Jake! They were missing six months ago in Adonia. Yep, it's on my backlog as well, Potato. Metro. The Metro series. As a fan of Fallout, I've seen that game, I think as soon as I got Xbox 360. Ten years ago. Bought the first one, still didn't play it. <laughs> Captain! Run out. Captain! Why is he screaming at him, Captain? Like, <laughs> because he can't make decisions? Is that what they're trying to tell us? He's like under stress? So, what are we doing? Oh, Help Sherry, Sherry and Jake. Jake. It's Jake and Sherry, thank you very much. So, I went this way. Where'd you go? There's more. I went there. Yeah, there's a path on the left. I'm gonna check over here. Yeah, okay. Wait. Let's check the different ones. I can climb up, but I don't know what. Oh shit, they're shooting bullets at me. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm taking heavy casualties fire in my ass. Hang in there, hippie. No, I can't. these guys up over here. Wait, I'm regenerating there. What the hell's over here? Oh, I can't regenerate. They're gonna take my health. Oh, there's barrels or boxes over here. Nope, I lost health. Ah, he's shooting me. Yeah, I just lost one. 
I didn't hide in time. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, that's a nasty guy. So, I guess I'm gonna go more to the right. Nope. There's some items here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm grabbing items over here, too. There's two of them. Oh, my God. Get him, hippie. They have weapons? I forget. Oh, there was a whole health gun. Ouch, you're shooting me. I gotta remember to work with the lag. Stop it. I lost another health. Did you drop Are you something? supposed to shoot the helicopter? No, we just gotta go down and help them, I think. I don't know, maybe there's a bonus if we kill it. But Chris said something, forget the helicopter, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I, oh. I, so, so there are some oh, items I here if you want. I gotta come to you. There's literally ah, literally nothing yeah, here but out. but death. I've never seen a mutation like that before. Oh, oh, fucker. Uh, oh fuck! They have machete now. They have a lot of shit. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming out here. All right, I'll have to heal. Dun, 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 dun. Oh fuck! Wait. Hide here. Hippie! Hold on. There you go. Son of a bitch! Oh, I shot him off. Alright, I'm with you. You go okay, get the items if you want, and then we move on. Come on! I'm right next to you. So he there's two items down there if you want them. Okay. I'll kill the birds. Come on, come on, come on! Give me the shot! Oh, I got him! <laughs> what, the chopper? No, there's like uh, enemies hanging off the side that's what's shooting us. Oh, okay, I didn't even see that. More yeah, birds coming. Man, yeah. I love the gunplay in this game, it's so fun. Mother of God! Alright, I remembered all the controls. Ah. Just use the alcove to hide. Stop that! There's a gate here. You can tell we're a uh, classic Ari fan because this is supposed you're supposed to like breeze through this part, but we're going oh, like shit. exploring shit. Dead. Watch out, they're coming, the little oh, God, ostriches. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Fire! What is. Oh, you, you literally gotta kill them. What? Is that it? Beautiful. Oh, yeah, we gotta shoot the enemies off the helicopter. Ow. Oh, I see them. Okay. There's a few more left. Alright, that's what they're telling us. So we're literally they'll just gonna. ammo because they'll just fall off. <laughs> Double. Uh -huh. Yeah, they'll be back one way or another. You son of a bitch! Ah! 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 That's what... There you go. That's how we help. We didn't move forward though, there was something, see? I'm gonna check over here. I'm right behind you. Man, fuck the reviews and everything, it's... Whenever I play this game, I'm having fun, no matter what, because it's so... Is there another enemy on there? Oh! Oh, there's oh, a rocket! Shit. I thought I saw another enemy on there. <laughs> if there were... They're Boom! Gone. Back. What's, back. What's, Come on, is there moving. just us? No enemies? So they were throwing ostrich. They, they were like grasshoppers? We're moving out. Let's go. That's what they look like. Yeah, I can't tell. They had grasshopper in on. I think ostriches because it reminds me of a bipedal bird, you know? Mm -hmm. They look more like Silent Hill enemies than uh, Resident Evil enemies, honestly. <laughs> Alright, everybody who's waiting go. for us to press the B button, Captain. Here we go. Interesting. Like, look at grasshoppers. I there you go. What they are, as long as they stay dead when you kill them. Look as under as the boxes. Or... Dead when you kill them. Yeah. He sounds like a Sarge. He just needs a, a cigar <laughs> in his mouth. Yeah. Over here. MS 13. Yeah, it looks like a nice sniping alcove. 
Man, I love locations like this. Like in real life, we we'll just stand it's... here and stare into the city. No one can see you, and you can feel the draft. Probably. <laughs> I just love that shit. Urban yeah, exploration. Nice and look how fast they climbed the ladder. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> Like that. Box destroyers. Very generous on the ammo. I am... I have a lot of ammo. Let me see what else do I have. A first aid spray. I have one slot left? Jeez, I better use some of this. Like like a hand grenade. That's... Nah, there you go. Alright, ready. Hiya! Ready? Go. Oh, I forgot my... Uh, my buddy. Wee. <laughs> I saw your shadow just flying over. Beautiful. Like Batman. Touch the door with me. ESP this door with me. Oh, it's a gun. <gasps> it's a gun. Let me sniff it. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. Wait, do you have it? Do we both get it? Should I take it? Uh, I don't know. I took it. Let's see. Another spray. Yep, we both get it. Yay! Oh, that in the five we wouldn't get it both. both. Okay, so we need to use the grenades. How do we swap grenades? Y button, that's right. But we only have one. Uh, yeah. Are they enemies? Shit! Watch out, grenade oh, out. Oh, see, I'm blind? Me. What's happening? He's acting like he's blinded. Oh my god! Fuck off, boy. Nice, nice. Ugh. And you go, what, what the, the fuck the? was that? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's the helicopter again. Well, there, so there's, there are ladders everywhere. What do you think? There's a... I I'll try the first ladder, you try the second one. You got it. I don't think... It, it, it's pretending like it's... Oh, it's just like... Yeah, it's the same thing. It's pretending like it's urgent, but it's... You don't have to fight it urgently. Uh, yeah, I don't even see anything up there. There they are. See where they are? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Ha cha! <laughs> nice. Oh, into pieces. Yeah, literally into pieces. My pistol oh, is cool. Bitch. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna jump down there. Is it gonna be a lot of them again or oh, get the try chopper. to get the chopper? Oh rocket, rocket, rocket! Fuck! Good I just saw God. a rocket flying over. Oh, oh wow! Jesus. How's your health? You're yellow, all right. Uh, I have a spray yeah. for. Well, I think we right, both. Come do. over here. Spray. You want to spray it right away? Here we go. Here goes nothing. Ah, yeah. <gasps> refreshing. Let me try to grenade that chopper. Oh, okay. what? There's a dude here. Is it our dude? I can't tell. Yeah, it's our dude. All right. Don't want to shoot someone. Who's actually helping? There it is. Watch yeah, out. Can't. Oh. Oh wow! Okay, no, gotta use cover. This was a bad. Oh, that idea. hurt. Yeah, we had to shoot this fucker. That's oh. why we gotta go up there. Oh boy! Nice. Oh shit! Oh boy! Uh... Oh my god! I think we gotta climb up and use the. I'll wait to regenerate so I don't lose the health. Okay, I'm coming up. Use the grenade launcher. Try shooting this thing. Because there's no music, nothing's happening. It almost feels like we're missing. Alright, it's something. coming back. <laughs> what are we supposed to shoot? The chopper, I guess, because it's red. See? Let me try. Hiya! Yep, definitely the chopper. Ooh. Doesn't like grenades in its yes. face. I love the aim on the grenade launcher in this game. Oh. Fuck you, chopper. Piece of shit. Reloading. Oh, it's also got rockets. You should have <laughs> should have expected that. Oh, it's burning now. Fuck you, guy. There you go. I mean, we had two grenade launches. What did you expect to happen? Man, that helicopter tanked. Two grenade launchers. Good lord. So in their chapter, we're gonna see what was happening down there. And he's like, I am beginning to trust you now. From down below? Yeah, because it was chasing them. We, we came in to help. Our mission is to terminate the BOWs. I said, our 
mission is to terminate Oof. the Scary, angry Chris. Damn. You can see it's first. says you man. shut that hole in your face. <laughs> <laughs> going after that BOW. Reloading. Oh, that was cool at the same time. Look at that. Love it. I wish there was a high five option because I would have given it to you. would be right awesome. Now. Let me check upstairs if one of the grass coppers dropped an egg or something. I'll do the same. Sniff, sniff. Oh, there's, a, there's another. There's another place down there. Where, Where does this go? I just oh, there's uh, boxes down here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Nice, got an herb. Oh, I'm full. Hold on. How many? Oh, there's more boxes. Nice. Fuck. More herbs. Oh lord. Okay. Oh wow, I managed to load my uh, herbs in. Good. Is there a red herb? I wish I asked that first. But... Yeah, it's just been greens. That's all I found so far. But... Yeah, I'll combine these two greens because I'm out of room. Yeah, I did the same. And this one as well, combine. There it goes. Three greens is like red and green, like in the good old days. No yellow or really good um, bullshit. ammunition, so. Yeah, man. That I've never lacked ammo in RE6 because it's not that kind mm -hmm. of a game. It's action y, but again, it's very fun. Uh, I don't know. This. Why, why do people find RE4 more interesting, more uh, fun to play than this? You can't do this when cells are attacks, like, haha. <laughs> that, that would be cool, you I'd love that. You can't look schmexy while rolling around. You know, Leon and Salazar and Leon and what's the other guy? Uh, uh, Osmond Sadler. Yeah, they're always measuring dicks, but it would be way more impactful if Leon could do this while, while measuring dicks, you know. I agree. This this is the core element that's missing. It really is. This and you know that and the this super smooth frame rate. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I didn't miss an emblem anywhere. Yeah, I'm looking around as well, but I don't see wanna... one. But I look at the skies, everything, giving people the vertigo. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it looks looks okay. So I'm coming. That's okay. Uh, you get a really cool beep, beep, beep. camera angle for every time you do this. When you're waiting for a partner. Oh, love, that smells dun, wonderful, dun, whatever dun, dun, it is. Dun, dun. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Team HQ, we're in pursuit of the target. Track the B.O.W. Wait, the, why are we killing the Illusia, I think? Because that's what we were chasing first. Is that the, the name of that snake monster? No yeah. They call it illusion, I guess, because it's see-through. Oh, it's gonna come from these little vents, I bet. I'm scared. There's gonna be medallions here, though. I remember that much. Oh look, Chinese oh, gambler. Body just fell off the chair. Oh really? lord! I didn't see that. Where? Oh god. Yeah. The box got broken. I don't know if we can ever. Stuck. Help me. <laughs> uh, wait, don't go after them. I'm just, I'm just kind of peeking through. There's yeah. another barrel over here. Uh, barrel. Oh, there's a blue medallion in this room. Where, where, where? In the bed over here in the little bedroom. See where I am? Yeah, I'm coming. How do I call you again? There was a button to call you. Oh, uh, there it is. You hold. You good, hold. Good eyes. Was it LB? Yeah, LB tells you shit, that's right. What are these right here? Are these cards? I or think what, it's what Mahjong, the Chinese game. Oh, uh, okay. But I could be wrong. They, I know they have, like, Asia in general has a lot of these board, or ancient board games. Well, even chess came from Persia, oh, didn't it? It was like a war... War... War planning game, basically. Look at the details, man. Oh, is that the fan? Oh, yeah. you can hear the fan, like, kind of clicking. Yeah, cool. yeah. Uh, and uh, look at the little, what is this? Shrine, I guess? In the uh, cupboard. Yeah, something. Can I break the jar? Oh, shit, I broke their... Oh, apparently you can. Their preserves. <laughs> yeah. 
Nothing behind the door. All right, I'll move along. Ready? Ready. Can I walk crouched? No. Oh, you can't even do shit now. Yeah, the cutscene is coming. You can tell because you can't do acrobatics or anything. Mother of God! That's the target. Damn it! Why won't this thing show itself? Why won't it show itself? Indeed. Why did they mark this one exit? Curious. Hmm. We just did it at the same time. Beautiful. Those were badass. Oh god, I'm stuck in a aiming animation. Why? Yeah, that's the that's what the part is. What the fuck? Because okay. we're go walking into the cutscene, I guess. The cameraman was drunk that day. Look, it's Yawn 2.0. It's like Yawn on steroids. You didn't even eat it. You just spat him out. All right, no, I was wrong. Playing with it. Oh dear, we are in trouble. But Chris knows how to deal with giant snakes, don't you, Chris? Ben, you just you just aimed your gun at me. Yeah, he has way better weapons now. Follow my leader, I'll find someone who will. Oh, piss you. Yourself? Fall in line, soldier. Damn, Chris, you really went full ass. Super ass. Right, man, let's move. That's what Hippie wants to say to Bron sometimes when he runs off on his own. <laughs> Oh, you soldier. Oh, <laughs> you got me there. I, you know, I don't really get angry at him. I'm just like, how the no, fuck? No, I know. It's just, it's just funny. <laughs> it is. Especially when you hear, like, when I tell him this is going to happen here, and he says yes, and then two minutes later, he's here. Oh, Hippie, this thing happened here. Oh, really, Brown? Nobody expected that. Except everyone. <laughs> but that's like, that's what makes it fun. Oh, there's a bunch of rats scurrying around the ground. Okay. Look at this guy, like, sleeping on the job. <laughs> He's just awkwardly standing there. And uh, yeah, Mr. <laughs> Man is just laying there. Keaton, not you oh, too, boy. Keaton. Not Keaton. Yeah, my face. He was two days from retirement. Well, you can do quick turn here, that's right. You can do quick turn yeah, into a sprint. Yeah, I was gonna ask sprint. you, how do you do the quick turn? Back A, and then you can just continue into a sprint. That's, I like that. Beautiful. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I'm walking slowly. Slowly but surely. I am serious. Why is this here? What is the purpose of this Yeah, right like, like a little ambush? Maybe something spawns in there? Surrender your winter preserves! <laughs> Nothing there, alright. Hiya! Rats! I knew it. Oh, clear. It's always about the rats. Damn it! It's not here either. We would have to be a lot more sneaky if we were chasing a. Oh, it's a dentist's office. What a weird concept for a building. Everything looks deserted and dirty. Yeah, this is super kind of strange. Yeah. Yeah. Chart of dentistry. Okay. I don't know if this is uh if this is maybe it's like that in China. I know it's very crowded there, but uh Ah oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, he automatically go, switches to the shit. Not Reed. He was day and a half from retirement. <laughs> oh shit, what am I gonna tell his Susie now? Reed got eaten by a giant snake. In China, a unique again. unique story to tell. Hiya! Oh, fuck slow opening. There's a giant snake on you. Ah! Oh my. Suppressing fire. I'm wasting ammo to be cinematic. Yeah, can you stop doing that? You're gonna need it. Uh, I want to be like in a horror movie, you know, like in, like in Aliens or something, when they get nervous and they start shooting randomly. <laughs>
very weird uh, buildings and everything. Oh, sh oh, oh, God. That looks like an AC. The shit's in the way. Give me a hand. No, don't give me a hand. Is, Wait. is it an AC? What the I don't know. Is or, that? or, or a whole fucking balcony fell off, like fire stairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of looks like it's a balcony. I don't know. All right, ready. <gasps> Where's Mark Together. Wilkins when you need him? Because Mark can push heavy things by himself. For those who don't know. Ah! Oh, it's a sneaky snake. It's just like taking off our team one by one. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, look, static camera. Oh shit, we're separated. Captain, I can't find Jack. Hold yourself, Marco. Where are you? Second floor. Oh shit. I, I see you up there. Here. Target is on the second floor. You all need to come here now. Oh, I can hear it. That's horrible. I'm coming. Oh, uh, well, there's shit Making down here. Noises. Can you come down, or sh should I? Because um, there are boxes. I'm trying to find my way down. It's up here with me somewhere because I can hear it. Yeah. Uh, don't trigger it by yourself. So there are boxes down here. I'm gonna check oh, if there are medallions. It's in the walls! I can hear it hissing. Yeah, it's... Fuck the snake, medallions are what's unnerving. where it's at. But, but Captain, we're all dying! I don't care, I need all the medallions, soldier! Oh, I found someone. Oh god. I found Reed. a dead soldier. Still... It's Reed. God damn it. He never gave me the 50 bucks I lent him. Oh, oh this sucks. Dead. Read? It sounds oh. so close. Yeah, yeah, I can hear it in the vents too, you know. I found the stairs. Let me see. More items. Marco, don't move. Hold oh, it just, just hit me in the back. That's an order. I'm coming up. Since it, went out, it went out the window. Okay. There's more stairs. Where are you now? Let's meet up. See, I'm close. And we're close. Oh, oh here we go. There's a thing on the door. Let me get right. it off. Nice. Okay, now try. Hiya! There right, we come go. Come down with me. Come here. Okay. With, come hither with me, Shia. Before come I forget where those things were. Maybe you find something valuable. I just got points. I'm coming, I'm so coming. So one was here. Excellent. There was one in here. Somewhere in here. Oh, yeah, I see it. Skill points. Got it. Okay. And the last one straight here should be. Uh, nothing here. Okay. They either despawn after a while, or maybe you sometimes for some boxes one player doesn't get anything. Okay, now we clean that. Uh, maniacally. Okay. Ocidiacally. Was there. I'm not gonna go to the objective door yet. Because I want to check your side. Yeah, go for it. Sniff around the pantry. The the characters kind of seem big for their um, for the map. Wait, you were in this little tiny room, and it went. No, no, no. I wind. came from up there. Oh, I came okay. From up there. Okay, okay. Yeah, doesn't lie. There's a way to get back up. Oh, there's there are stairs, but it's blocked off. Oh, there you go. Very nice. I like that. So Ichiro Sasaki. Oh, hold on. Potato says, think I'm going with. Whole balcony falling off. Yeah. <laughs> Does yeah. sound like like shoddy workmanship. I have seen videos of uh, hasty, hasty, oh geez. Hasty Chinese architecture. Man, it's dangerous shit. Look, there are teeth in here. Oh, look, the chair is just spinning around. I thought the teeth were chattering. Yeah, no, it was just the chair Should just we spinning. we find that piece of shit and we put it down? Fast and hard. Fast and hard. The only way you rest your horse car. <laughs> Fast and hard. Starring Chris Redfield and Pierce Neil Niels. What's his name? Nevins. No. Pierce Goodness. Nevins. Jeff! Who the fuck is Jeff, man? You're just spotting Poor names. Bastard. Now. Not even taking their equipment. <laughs> Jeff, you poor bastard. Okay, I don't see any medallions or anything, so B. 
Yeah, it is. I've seen like videos of so poorly made buildings and rooms. You oh, think God. they're gonna collapse, and they do. Oh, well, I'm out of coffee. Shut up, bitch! Come Where are you, here. you hippy dippy? <laughs> It's like watery. Maybe Yawn had sex with a predator. Or like or a predator and a xenomorph. No! Oh I think is it, is it just me or the teeth actually moving? Yeah, it seemed that way. Well they should be like Oh Whoa, fuck no, not like that. that. Not like that. <laughs> not like this. It has a centipede in its mouth. Oh fuck! Oh, that's scripted. Nice. I didn't even get a chance. Oh, it's gonna eat them all now. And the pork. Man, that's some dirty pork I wouldn't eat from this restaurant, honestly. Come on, you ugly bastard. There's a toilet. There. Oh. It's right there. What the? In the face. Yeah, that's good thinking, Come on. actually. Fucker. What do you call these little things in the toilet where there's no toilet? There's no bowl. Yo, there's actually. I got just... him right in the mouth. Yeah, I saw that. There's just a thing to squat on. What do you call that? Hold on. There's things to squat on. What are you talking about? In the toilet. So instead of. Oh! Did I kill I us both? Up, help me. RB. There you go. <laughs> uh, was that me or you? No, I blew myself up. The thing came right in my face and all I could do. Because I was shot the grenade as well. By blowing it let, up. Let me use the spray. Oh, okay. Go for it. Well, that's okay. I want to spend it anyways. I only used one herb, so we're good. That's cool. Um, so in the toilet, instead of a toilet bowl, there's this thing. What do you call that in English? That's like a thing you squat on? I have no clue what the fuck that is. That, that's what they... Uh, you don't have that in the US? One that's built into the ground? like that? Yeah, it's not a toilet. We call squat it the squat. The no. Yeah, we call it no, literally the squatter. So you go in there. If you're pissing as a man, you just stand, of course. But if you want to take a shit or piss as a girl... You gotta squat on that thing, and it's like it okay, flushes yeah, no. and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. They, not here. We have actually just the actual toilets. Yeah, in public restrooms, these were very popular uh, in earlier years. Lately, there's more and more actual toilets in public restrooms, but we used to have more of these. Well, I'd just call them squatters. Mm, squatters. Okay. Yeah. Squatty potty. Squatty potty. That's an actual. Uh, well, do we go in there or... Oh, we should go in there. Okay, let's explore the street first, I guess. Yeah, okay. let's... I'm gonna check over here. I'm looking for medallions. There's a lot of blue shit oh, in yeah, there. Oh, yeah, there's uh, boxes at the end of the hallway. I see an herb in there, so that means we can go in there eventually. Boxes. Look at that. Boxes. Boxes. Okay. Gooses. Geeses. <laughs> Alright, I kicked a bike. Ah, ah, oh, Jesus. Look in here, there's an herb, so that means we'll end up there Pick eventually. The See it on there on the okay. table? Alright, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna crawl in. As the okay, leader of this gang, I'm gonna crawl in. If I don't come out, tell my uh, wife I had another wife. Yes, sir. <laughs> they definitely, def <laughs> definitely don't zoom on Chris's ass like they do on Jill's. And what the oh, I'm, I'm getting eaten! No, I just grenaded it in, in the ass. All right. <laughs> Are you behind me? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Should I waste grenades on this? Yes. Yes, I should. That's what they're there for. Holy Man, shit. Chris is fast. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Oh, my head coming hurts out, apparently. I'm oh, I'm getting Whoa. squeezed. Oh. Okay, he, he'll be bitch. back. Watch out. There's, this is like an arena, so be ready. Uh, oh shit, yeah, he's right there in the corner. I'm taking you down. Fucker. You gotta be in the face, I think. Oh, he's got me! M Wash, mac it, mac it. Get off me, bitch! Oh, I wanna hit it in the, in the mouth. It's gone. After it. L they will look towards it. Oh, it's gone. It's literally gone, okay. When it's there, they kind of... Oh, there's another box. They look towards it. Oh, there's boxes over here. 
more boxes. I, I just kicked one over there. Ammo, grenades, yes. Oh, I have. It's some. gone. After it. I need to use some of the assault rifle ammo. All right. This way, I guess. Chuck shotgun shells over here, just on the ground. Oh mother! Where is it? It's throwing Went shit. Up, uh, into the there it is. Wait for it to open wide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trigger it. Shit! Like bastard. Remember to use the acrobatics. Very useful. Holy you shit! Think? It scared me. Whoa! Oh, you got me! Ah! Rusty Deer, thank you for the raid. Oh Rusty Deer. Oh, Dizzy, oh, hello, bitch. Dizzy. Dizzy's, Dizzy's friend is a friend of the channel. How you doing, it's people? Welcome. We're fighting a big giant illusionary oh. snake in oh, the face. Shit. Oh, it doesn't like bullets in the face. I'll be with it you guys doesn't. in a moment or two. Especially the shotgun shells. <laughs> oh, the really? Wait, do I need? Yeah, all right. Let wait, me wait, 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 right No, no. There you go. He's he lives. He's okay. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. Thank you for raiding, raiding Rusty Deer. What kind of streamer is Rusty Deer? Am I pronouncing that right? Alrighty, Dizzy. Good to see you, Dizzy. Dizzy, Miss Lizzy. That's the second time this year. We're great getting back into the groove, Dizzy. Hunt, that's the that's the hunt. I know the the pub comedy the pub pub comedy plays that as well. Uh, hunt showdown, right? Variety of stuff, fellow variety streamer. Well, welcome in. Nice to meet you this way. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome one and all. Balatro. What is balatro? That sounds like almost like a made up word. Balatro. Hey, baby, I want to see my Bellatro. My Bellatro. Is this a... What is this? A dough maker? Where is this dough coming from? Nothing. Look at it. It's magically infinite dough. <laughs> if it's dough at all. <laughs> you were playing with Dizzy together? Nice. Well, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, I'm Hippie Tesla. I play... I stream variety of games, mostly story runs, uh, whole series. There's a lot of co-op as well. All playthrough comes from uh, real hardware, actual consoles, so no emulation. And yeah, that's about it. And my co-op partner today is Mutation, next to a dear friend and a co-op uh, Resident Evil and a co-op Shinado, just like myself. Well, that's that's right. Hello, everybody. I am Mutation X2, and pretty much what Hippie said. Same thing. I'm a variety streamer. Um, really interested in Resident Evil. Um, and yeah, come check out the channel sometime. Right now we're focused on RE6, but this is uh, not just what we play. Uh, we play Texas, a variety of other things. Hopefully, it's something you're interested in. Yeah, we do play Texas uh, Chainsaw Massacre. We just haven't in a long time. Mm -mm. In two months, there's there's mutation. Mutation. Palatro is a card game. I played that for twenty minutes after Hunt hit my end time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I I see, I see, I see. A card game on a computer. They'll they'll think of anything these days. Well, thank you for the follow, Rusty dear. Appreciate it. Gonna check out your channel as well Russ it literally Russy the ear it sounds like what where does the name come from where does the tag come from I'm curious let's see <laughs> it's burning our soldiers are dying and burning but we're like ah <laughs> well we are kind of cold so we're just nestled by the fire right now it it does sound like a like a cozy uh, 
uh, fireplace. We're just we're just missing our lounging chairs. Man, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Let me see. General, just a reminder, Rusty, Rudy, not Rudy, Russ. What's tomorrow? Friday. That works for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, because Russ. Okay. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Russ. That's very lovely. Wow, that, that, is, that is very lovely. I'm not going to lie. Rusty deer. And deer are your favorite, favorite animals after alligators. That's a weird combo. You couldn't keep them together as pets. You know, unless, unless you forbid the alligator to go out of the water. <laughs> Come Very good. On. Thank you for sharing that. All right, Joe, have I missed something in here? Uh, no, I think we're good to move on. Yep, sniffed everything. There's nothing to... Oh, shells. Sniffy, There's sniff, shells. Sniff. Look where they are on the fucking... I would never. I would have never seen them on the bag, at least for, for me. <laughs> Do you see them? Uh, I'm actually already up the ladder. Oh, jeez, he's fast and he's out. All right. I have enough shells, so I'm not going to even bother with them. Alligator with deer. Oh, that's beautiful. And original. Boom. Door kicker. This oh, snake God. is bored, but fighting the, the two of us. Just like... leave us alone. <laughs> Defeat the B-O-W. Defeat the bow. The bow chicka bow wow. Ow, ow. There it is. Oh. I can't I, jump. I, wow. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna. Its hide has toughened. Okay. Oh, Did you see that? Okay. Yes, I saw it. Oh no! It, it just knocked me down. It's rude. Ow! Up. It keeps slapping me. It's making slapping noises. There's a. Did you just oh, fry my ass? It. Who did it? Wow, Joe. Hey, Xbox Clown, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hi, Xbox Clown. Hi, yeah. I think Xbox Clown asked for our RE6 streams, didn't he? <laughs> da -da -da -da. You Ooh, ugly bastard. Secret weed stash. So, am I supposed to push this? Oh, oh, oh. you push it when it's underneath. Oh, okay, one of us Ow. has to be down. All right, I didn't know. Yeah, I, I think I, you gotta bait it. All right, let me stand near me. Okay, it's recharging. There you go. All right, go to the other side. I'll, I'll... Oh, shit. Okay, I'll be the bait Ow, then. You fry it. We got to use the water. It's okay. coming after me. Come on, come on. I can sprint for a while and then... Okay, there Got you it. go. Oh. Oh. I forgot how we killed this thing, honestly. That's it. That was that easy. And it's melting. I think it was just my my perfect timing. I one shot at that bitch. Look, I did nothing, so I'm not gonna object that. Marco, are you okay? Marco. All I did was fry the air. Marco Polo. Marco, Marco Polo. <laughs> I wanna. Wow. Am I jumping? Is he missing like his legs or something? No, he's good. I expected that. All right. That was easy enough. Oh, don't touch it. It hurts. I Pippi, just can you stop messing around up there? Uh, no. Apparently, I cannot. I'm sorry. Your curiosity for electricity. I cannot. Uh, it could be I'm deadly. Gonna... Fuck it. I need more herbs packed in. There you go, 16, and then make another 6. Uh, Combined with you. the red, that's 6. There you go. All right. So... Mm-hmm. Can we? What's on the other side? Can anything to collect? That's where the switch was. But nothing like no medallions, nothing like that. Um, I found two green herbs up there. Oh, okay. I'll go. Check. Actually, I'm I don't full. know if you I picked those, I don't need them. But... Yeah, I got the red now. So at least we got it. Okay. No way to yet. 
I'm not gonna rest until we have her head on a stick. Oh, a little savage there. I know, Jesus. I, uh, mm. I commendable, commendable, uh, Rusty. I like, I make my own shit as well. I'm not an artist, but you know, I can take a look. <laughs> I made my own shit as well. There's just something, because at least, you know, if you're like that, you imagine it, you make it, right? This is crazy. It's not safe in here. We need to pull out. Captain! <laughs> Looking for me, boys? <gasps> Welcome to dun dun dun. Ada! She's really playing that part, like getting on his nerves. Wait. What? Wait, what? We have to kill him. Chris, don't be dumb. He do the same for us. <laughs> Why are we waiting to see what he's gonna, tr which Pokemon he's gonna be? Just fucking kill him. Oh. Yes. What evolution we get? Well, we got it. Uh, what is this called? Gnezdo. Which means nest. You see them? Yep. Do they explode into little ones after you hit them? Oops, I just went out the window. Nice. Oh. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh. Oh, so we gotta we gotta make the little bug come out of it, huh? That's what. That's it. Shoot it fast. Ah, oh, I'm being enveloped. La, la, la. No, I hate bugs and controller Stop mashing it. games. Oh, thank you. Demolition block. Oh shit. Okay. Did he shit that out, or what happened there? Which yeah, it says that's that the only happened. thing that he had that didn't disappear. <laughs> Why? Why? Wait, that's not so. This is if there was Chris, if he punched that floor, they would have been in back <laughs> in the just, U.S. He just punched right yeah, there. they would just <laughs> fall through China back in the U.S. So I'm sorry, that's not Chris. Cause you know that's lot. If you if you go from U.S. to China, you gotta go the other way as well, right? <laughs> Did you believe that as a kid? If you dig through the ground, you'll end up in China. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> for for a brief period, I saw it in a cartoon somewhere, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Why don't we just cut the travel time like that? <laughs> you should have just tested it out yourself. Yeah, I invented it. Drill, drill something. <laughs> Let me try my drill dozer. No, wait, it's dill dozer. Shit, I, I mixed up my weapons. <laughs> oh my. Explosive. C4 explosive. Wait, I don't understand why we need that for that. You should cut <gasps> those open. I'm sorry. You don't fucking put a C4 explosive this close to your face and just watch it explode. What was that? <laughs> Didn't even try to hide. The bot armor is too great. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just killed me a little. After what she's done, <coughs> how many of our men are dead because of that bitch? I'm right there with you, Captain. Your personal vendetta bitch. isn't gonna get us anywhere. If you hadn't been blinded by vengeance, we could have prevented some of those deaths. Shut up. Dang. It's me. He's really rude to him. What did you say about my mama? What happened to the legendary Chris Redfield, huh? What happened to you? It's a good thing Finn's not about to see this one. He punched one boulder too many. He's right, so that's why it hurts. Hello, Dizzy. Hello, Dizzy, my old friend. Need a location on Ada Wong. Hello, my old friend. Someone's got to keep an eye. I came to uh, eat Chris with you. An angry again. boy. Yeah, he's really pissy here. This is HQ. We've got the location for you. Ada Wong has left the city and is heading south for the harbor. Ada Wong has HQ left the building. Teams. Target Ada Wong. Wait, wait, wait. Heading south for the harbor. We want her alive. 
Why does he sound like a 1940s radio announcer? He sounds like he is. Johnny Dangerously is on the loose. So I repeat, Johnny Dangerously is on the loose. <laughs> attention all cars, attention all cars. <laughs> I don't know why they gave him the voice. Ada Wong has fallen into the river in Lego City. <laughs> Lego City. Does he... Oh, look at that. It's the harbor. Make sure you stay out of my way. As long as you don't cross the line again, that won't be a problem. Ada's just playing with you. When are you going to realize that? I'm not stupid She's enough playing to playing with bullshit. your heart. You should have a little more faith in your captain. I don't know, Chris. All your actions so far say otherwise, but who am I to judge? Press I'm your just... dick. I'm not following you. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons here. I'm not the one shooting bullets. I have six flashes. Pretty good on ammo. Yeah, too good. I gotta drop some flash grenades. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, Hiya, I mean. Yeah, there you go. Nailed uh, it. Let me catch you, yeah. Pierce. Jump in my arms! <laughs> <laughs> should have knocked you into the water. That yeah. <laughs> Whee! Alright, I. Oh! <laughs> I didn't want to do <laughs> snipers. Oh, what the fuck? They, have, they got snipers. All right, and we have... Hey, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait. I have a grenade launcher. I have something better. Oh, all right. I'm better than a sniper and a grenade launcher. Oh, shit, you have a sniper, actually. But mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Let me open these boxes. Oh, shit. Oh, you bastard. They're dead. And a box Ooh, here, and a box there. Box, box Take here, that. and a box, box there. So I can jump on the little boat. What about over there? Was there anything there before I... I have a feeling I won't be able to come back. Let me just check. Okay, I'm right behind you. No, there's nothing here. Literally, just one way. There's no map in this game because you don't need a map. You just put push forward. It's a one-way ticket to hell. Yeah, five pretended it had a map, but it was just a nuisance. Honestly, it covered half the screen. And then six was like, you know what? There's no map. How did I get knocked? I wasn't even <laughs> because the boat rock. I guess Pierce weighs a ton. <laughs> there you go. And dizzy, I'm oh, so happy to see you. Drop to Did it oh, drop shit. to 50? Wait, shoot him, dang. shoot him, shoot him! Thank you. Oh, oh it did go to 50. When did I get damaged? Let me get you up, sir. Wait, where's the other one? Get up, Piers. Got him. Oh, I was about to follow a grenade. I'm, I'm chasing you to heal you, and it worked. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 hold on, oh, there's another one. Where's the oh, other one? Oh, oh he's Ooh. like... There he is. Look at me, Matrix dodging that. Thank you. I think you. it was the same one. I don't have a sniper. Why? How do you have a sniper? Because you're not worthy. Oh, because I have 909. All right, yeah. Ugh. It sounds like a robot is coming. Yep, that's a big robot person. What the fuck? I'm going left. You oh, go he's right. above me. Son of a bitch. You uh, just punch each other. Yep. Uh, Oh, that's lovely. I can go forward. Where'd you go? They're everywhere. They're one, there's one right above us, just so you know. There's one, yeah, to the side, too. Let's see, hold on. Okay, bastard. I'm gonna go from the right now. Still alive? Son of a bitch. Oh god, oh god, he's aiming at me! Ah! No! I just... Haha, <laughs> that was wonderful. Stop it! Jesus. <laughs> I come and hum and hud the guy away. <laughs> Man, I love the acrobatics, but with the delay, with the slight lag, it's just funny how things work or don't work. <laughs> it's funny, bunny. It sure is. There we go. All these skill points. Ha. Huh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh -huh. What's up here? It's a boat. That's the way forward, I think. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, alright. Let me go. Hiya! I'm sure there's no emblems anywhere. Yeah, no emblems. I see, keep seeing blue little circles everywhere. It conditioned me that way. But none of them are shootable. I'm coming. Whee! Oh. A, a Slayer Blood Punch. Wait, which Slayer? I'm thinking... Uh, I'm think I am thinking, of course, uh, the Suffering. But that's not... They don't do Blood Punches. The Suffering. Have you played The Suffering, Joseph? Yeah, that's one game no. we never talked about. No, I'm afraid I have I think, not. Have you seen me stream it? It was one of the first games I've streamed. Uh, but it was like I think four I've years ago. I think I've seen past clips, but I don't know if I actually saw you stream it live. Yeah, yeah I gotta restream that. I never did the second game. I love this. Oh my. So, oh, I'm flying. Did you see that? I flew. I was the, uh, the the lag in this game just makes it so fun <laughs> because it's not really it's not breaking the game it's just making it funnier. I'm sprinting. I hope you're behind me because they have I'm rockets. Right behind you. You gotta be kidding me, man! What? Why am I like they're sucker? Go hippie run! Oh, I got burned on my ass. Got burned, man. What the hell? Hiya! Oh, I remember this. this is so badass. Just Can't run! Don't stop! It. Don't stop! He's gonna blow up one by one. Don't stop till you get enough. Go, Chris! Go! I went left. I think that's the only way. Oh, Doom! Okay, yeah, Doom Slayer. <laughs> what is this shit, dumb suckers? No, 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 not in the water, Chris. Damn, he almost fell in the oh, water. Oh, shit. We need to reach that building. Just, in, in, no. Did he push me in the water? Oh, wow. He killed me. Wait, he you too? Me into the ocean. Damn. Well, who died? I think he I died. It was me. He knocked me into the water. I thought it was me. Oh, well, like... no, he went right for Piers' booty cheeks. Okay. We just do the chase. Sprint is your friend. No, 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 no. It's funny because you were in front of me and he just said, "Nah, screw me." I thought uh, for my screen it felt like I I went in and he, I even heard no, no, Piers going, me. "Chris!" The it was me. But you know, maybe I'm just used to being to dying first when I'm not the host. All right, just no, 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 go through no, Oh, you don't use stamina in this section. That's beautiful. You can run infinitely. I was trying to save stamina, but there's no need. Grasshopper's coming. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm, I'm saving a grenade launcher for the big guy. Fucker. Oh, fuck. Fucker. Damn, that bird fucked me over. Did you see that? I just blew myself oh, up. Oh, he's dead. I'm oh. in the... Why am I in the water? <laughs> what? Oh, they destroyed the, the bridge. We gotta be fast. That's why. That's what it is. Okay, it's okay, the bridge yeah. collapsing underneath us. Yeah, okay. we gotta be fast. I thought it's because like the monster's knocking us in there, but it's the bridge. Yeah, it okay. looked like that for both of us. But this is also a little silly because we lose the helicopter following it. It's flying. It can just get us. It doesn't have to follow us. It just fucking shoot us. Gotta be Short just, run. just punch him in the face. Oh, never mind. I wanted to punch him and I went. Bleh. Sometimes Bitch. they're covering their face like something's happening, but nothing's happening. Keep moving. Go, hippie, go. Go, hippie, go. Go, go, go. Hippie, be good. So we gotta plow Hippity through dippity. those. Uh... I'll get the grasshoppers, you get the big guy. Okay. He's gonna destroy this bridge quickly. Get the get the big guy. Go get you gotta move, gotta move. Go 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 go. You gotta we just run. We Fucking ignore him. Building. Run. Oh, he's hitting me, hit me. Oh shit! All right, uh, I jumped he over. He was in but... my way. I couldn't move. Yeah, try to try to go around him. Either that or blowing up with the grenade launcher. Son of a bitch. Indeed, he's Son big for a narrow eater. bridge. <laughs> Insta spring. Die! Oh. Die! Whoop. 
Why can't Chris just, like, boulder punch him out of the way? I don't, I don't know. His uh, boulder punching days were over in that volcanic crater. Go. I had to stop to punch him in the face. Just a little slap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally mid-run, he stopped, slapped him, and continued running. Oh, he's destroying one by one. Alright, this time you take care of the grasshoppers, I'll shoot the big guy, because you're ahead. Just run! Son of a bitch! Move! Move! That's right. We need to reach oh, go, go, Yeah, go, just go. fucking <laughs> leave him behind, that's how. Yes. There he goes, he blows away. Go, 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 go! Hiya! Nice. Alpha to HQ. We got a that visual works. on We gotta destroy it. This is HQ. Ada, Ada booty. Charlie and I'm shooting her. Fuck out of here. Oh, it's a rocket salvo. Jeez, Ada. Oh, get out of here. Fuck it. Fuck. Ah. Reloading. Okay, it's done. There it goes. Whoo. Shaboom. What the? Man, what you destroyed. Some of the best <laughs> Chinese uh, architecture. Yeah, look. The, I'm the, sorry. Everything's burning. It's like the church. beginning of Team America. Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> Everything is boom. We stopped the terrorists. <laughs> okay, well, stick. Blue medallion. Shotgun, I guess. Where, 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 where? On the floor. No, that's, that's just a plate. You that's lied to me, plate. game. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, no, wait. Is this a blue medallion? No, it's also a plate. Fucking, I hate plates now. <laughs> <laughs> there's gotta be a blue medallion you, there's an herb over here did you get this i broke this red herb i here. see a red one another one here i gotta drop a flash grenade because i have one too many go for it let me see watch out it's flying your way hiya oh god that's a very pathetic flash grenade after the one from resistance this one is just ridiculous I got, sh cool. I got grenades. Man, I am low on pistol ammo. I'm glad I'm using I love I the pistol in two this. Two grenades, two flashbangs. Should be good. I still have five flashbangs and uh, two grenades. Fuck the Ming Dynasty pots. I'll have them. Oh, look at There's more medallions on the floor for you, maybe. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> there's a green herb here. You know what? I'm all drugged up, so I don't need it. Oh. <laughs> What's oh, the point? Oh, you can slide over the tables. That's yeah, whoosh, but you don't like bring the Whee. cutlery down. Whenever you're ready, I think when I jump, we're starting the next. Yeah, section. I'm right here. Let's go. Hiya! Oh, I guess fuck you, Pierce. Just Chris jumps over. Holy shit! That's that. Now we get Ada. Come it sounds. You sound so confident, like they did a good thing. You burn half of the city. Do you see the fire? That's all your handiwork. And look at the I train out there passing, like nothing's happening. It had to be done. I guess. But it could have been done, you know, with less fire. I no, think they we're saw, into explosions around here. They saw oh, Nemesis shit. and they were like, you know, if he can do it. Oh, shit. Punch him, Chris. You're the puncher. A reversal, bitch! Did you see that? Let it. me heal us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, wait. What? How many do I have? She's here. She's here. But he's talking through his teeth. Like, she's <laughs> here. Wait, wait. Something here. Oh shit! A secret box full of four thousand skill Hit points. Me. Me. My skill points, bitches! You took my skill points. Nice save. Thank you. Now come here. Oh, wait. 4,000 skill points. Oh, nice. Good job. There, some room. Thank you, guys. You made some room for my... Yeah, what if All one right. of the plates is actually the medallion? I was wondering the same thing. And someone else voiced it. It's a secret <laughs> medallion. <laughs> Left there by Wesker. All years these yummy ago. skill points. Yeah, there's a lot of them. 
which right. means we'll be able to do more, uh, to add more uh, skills, uh, literally, our defense and stuff. Level up our characters. Because the second playthrough in this game, well, I started from scratch on purpose, like because it's mm -hmm. a story of run. But any next time I play, it's going to be easier and easier with more shit to use. I think this is where they've been developing the C-Virus? Let's say the Medical Research Center? The Quirus. The Quirus. Ah. Uh -huh. Very hush hush medallion. <laughs> hush hush. Ada! So emotional about this. Alpha team to HQ. Come in. We're you can run, but you can't hide. No use hiding, Ada. <laughs> you can hide, but you can't run. Wait, who are you to tell us what we can do? <laughs> so many little niches here, but there's nothing. It's pretty can empty. I slip through this this wall crack right here? No. Stop slipping through cracks, please. We're on a mission. All right. Sorry. <laughs> so cutscene and a door. Wait, it had something a, s a long time ago that's a holy crap. Oh, it's this shit again. Yeah, with this. Okay, let's try to win because last time we, we we lost. This time we gotta win, man. Go run, Ippy! Can you tap it? No, it doesn't go fast. 30 meters left. She's not talking. Oh, fuck that Resident Evil movie shit. Oh, it still hit me. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I did it, but I didn't do it properly. Remember, you gotta do, you gotta hit this. Oh, oh fuck. hit me. Oh, hit it, hit it. You said we could hit it. Yeah, well, you should hit it. There, you hit it. They just glitched. Are you sure? Well, we're here. Ah, oh, it's going back. <laughs> See? That. Oh. Go, do it. There we go. This is, I guess you gotta practice. Yeah, we we lost it already. If we were fast enough, we would have had a, the elevator. I never, I never managed to do this. Oh, stop the camera. I never managed to do this. Stop. Stop for a second. There you go. I never managed to do it before for? them. Well, I healed you, because you were yellow. Oh. There it is. Oh. Uh mother of hippie I want to see what happens when you win in this chase We're done man the way they're kicking this it's just funny they're just angry Ooh, first aid spray gotta drop something uh, I have two still 16 shells dun, 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 dun. good thing we're not racing here <laughs> Guess that's it. All right. Items before speed run, uh huh? What the hell is all this? What the hell is this? Oh, it's the eyes, it's the yeah, evil room bug room. Remember this? Door. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm getting shells, so that means the game is telling me use the shotgun. Yeah. More shells, jeez. Alright, that's it. Let's open the door. Why am I walking like a model? Look at this. <laughs> Why are we just casually strolling? Yeah, it's <laughs> like we're on a runway for a... Is that what it's called? Like, in. fashion runway? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Locked in. Okay, we gotta do the locks. One of us gotta do the locks and the other has gotta kill the evil Roombas. What do you wanna do? I don't know, I'll shoot. Fuck, I'll try. At least I'll try. I don't know. There's one. They blow up after a I second. I'll go for the lock. You can dodge away when you see. When they go red, they just dodge from them. I think it's the easier way to kill them. Oh, not like that. Better. Better than that. Hold them off, Hippie. I'm trying. Oh, you're doing the fuse puzzle. You're doing the fuse puzzle. Watch out, move. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll make him explode as best as I can. I'll try. I just gotta touch him, and they'll explode on their own. Security breach detected in room zero. 
Uh, I, I hope I'm helping. Evil Roombus attack. Ooh. It's done. It's done. Bravo, go. Alright, fuck room zero already, lady. Jeez. <laughs> Your mama's waiting in room zero. Let's move! More points. Alright. 5,000, 10,000, 50. More Roombas! Oh god, okay. It was on us. <laughs> I'll never buy a Roomba. Never, he's scarred for life. <laughs> it has a lot of skill points. Jesus. Yeah, this I remember this section has a lot of them. But you get different rewards if you get here first, I think. Because we're racing with uh, Leon and Helena, I think. We did this with Dragon, remember? I remember. Yeah. We? Ugh. Stop right there! Um, I don't see... What's who? Oh, that's them. <laughs> They're above us. Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh, infinite sprint again, alright? Just keep sprinting. What the fuck? I'm running. What the? It's the blue one, okay? Cover your shame, Ada. Jeez. Look, why is she running? She running like Cindy, Sydney from Scary Movie 2 when she goes, I'm not crazy. Ah! ah. <laughs> 10 meters, 5 meters, a meter. Oh shit, we gotta do it together. There she is. <laughs> Wait, do you see meters or or, or pounds? <laughs> or fucking... Meters. Oh, okay. Or what would be. What would be. It wouldn't be. It would be feet for this distance, right? For shorter distances. <clears throat> Look at that! Two guns pointed at you, Ada. Shooter! Why? Why the hesitation? Whoa! Leon! Oh yeah, from this. Skill points. You use them outside the main game in the menu, kind of like an outbreak, but you use them here to unlock actual, you know advancements to your character so you can add defense i added melee for chris for instance Leon. makes it a little rpg-ish put your gun down chris have they ever met before witness she's the one who did all this um it wasn't her it was simmons the national security mm. advisor. I lost all my men because of her. And I lost over seventy thousand people. What? Am, uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm trying to think of the timeline. If they crossed paths, or this is the first. They definitely knew of each other, and they knew of each other, yeah. of course. You know well, in Code Veronica, I do. Claire sends an email to Leon to contact Chris to come for her. Remember? Mm -hmm. Which I always found oh, yeah. odd. Why not just fucking send an email to Leon uh, to Chris right away? Or why no, Leon they had never come? met each other. This is the first meeting. It says uh, they had never met each other. They've known each other, though. Known yeah. of each other, I guess, since 1998. Yeah. Because during the events of Code Veronica, Claire contacted Leon via email asking him to locate Chris. And did he? Because Chris comes to the island, so how did he do that? If they never met, you know? Maybe they did. Because yeah. okay, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, it does wrong. Unless they were like all using Game Boys to communicate, I don't know. So they had to have either yeah, had, to, had to have met during Code Veronica at some point. He's gonna kill her. Why, why, why did Claire come alone? You know, it's, I mean that game also has some plot holes, of course, but true. Yeah, true. Like she came alone, then she was like, "I need help. Come help me on this super secret island." Shimon. Chris is very pissed in here, I remember. And Pierce is just like shooting cars. She's making a break for the harbor? Is she making an outbreak? Catch 
Man, I didn't know, I gotta say, I had no idea this new schedule would work this well for me as well. I would expect to be super mm -hmm. sleepy by now, but I got used to it. And it's 15 to midnight. Yeah, no, you, you're don't you don't sound like you're fading as opposed to like when we play uh, like our Friday nights, early Saturday morning. Um, because obviously you're still getting up, but this when we would do like minutes. some <laughs> some of those really late sessions, yeah, no, you sound really good. Yeah, thank you. Advising all personnel to be on the, the alert. The, the biggest downside of this is I think uh, it'll be oh, harder shit, I'm to. Driving? What the fuck? Yeah, you're driving and I'm shooting. I've had enough of these stupid games. Drive faster, man. Turbo, oh, yeah. Oh shit! Wow, China has large yeah, highways, but you should be driving on the left, I think, because they drive on the left, don't they? Yeah. I can't go any faster. So what happens? There's gotta be a turbo mode. Oh, she escaped. I, I did. I used the boost, but I can't. I can't spam it. <laughs> huh? Maybe there's a. Let's let's try this again. Don't bother. We can handle this. I've had enough of these stupid games. I'm holding the accelerator. Well, rest well, potato. May you grow okay, into. There, we go. there you go. May you grow into a nice French fry. Mmm. Nam. <laughs> Come on, speed it up! Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh my god! Oh gee, where'd you get the license, Chris? <laughs> From Leon? Yes. <laughs> the Leon School Chris of Driving. <laughs> Lock up all the exits. Leon School of the uh, Vehicle no, Destruction. What the fuck? We should go left? Oh wow, she's ahead of us. We got a floor in, sir. I gotta wait till I make these turns. Come on. It's like rally, you gotta use the in-between turns. Oh, nice. Okay, we're behind her. Dang, we just boosted. <laughs> that is the boost we needed. Oh, I thought you were going, going to bed, potato. I thought that's what that Shoot The bur barrels, there you go. No, Not the no, civilians, no. just the barrels. You gotta shoot the barrels. I'm shooting the car. Is there overheat on this? I hope not. Whoa! I missed a few barrels. You see, did he say, fuck yeah, we got you? Well, who, these guys, they're enemies? I thought they were our guys. Jeez. Oh, I was pairing yeah, them. got gunners on them. Now I understand, okay. But you can't hurt the civilians. Why am I even... Is this a civilian? If they are, they're not here, so... Look, the civilian is just indestructible. You see that? He just, he just passed through the fucking other vehicle. <laughs> the way they fly. This flip. Not getting rid of us that easily. I'm the best driver. Make the, the turn. Whoa. Oh, get right the bus. Oh, yeah, I felt that. Uh, bus or van, whatever the fuck it was. Our thing is indestructible, apparently. Look, Chinese McDonald's. Get the fuck out of the way! The cars look weightless when they fly in the air. Yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> physics just went to hell. Like early Need for, need for Speed games. Ada White! I'm just doing short bursts because it makes me sound cool and sexy. Like I know what I'm doing. That's what soldiers do, right? Short bursts. Damn, I can't. Nice, checkpoint. Potato, are you streaming? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> no, and when it comes to like cinematic approach, what this game really fuck? This game really has it, honestly. Woo! Nice oh. one, Chrissy. No wait, I'm Chris. Piercy? Follow that car and try not to destroy ours, sir. She's driving the Austin Powers convertible. Okay. I can't, I can't <laughs> drive anymore. Uh, I think your driving days are over. 
<laughs> Let's volmorphorize into a helicopter. Where the fuck am I going? Just blindly. Oh, she's hiding somewhere. We gotta find her, probably. What is this? Are you place? steering or is it like auto steering on rails? Look at all the bullets. Bullshit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit! Look at how it's shaking like it's a toy car. Uh, you gotta cover the left, I can't cover the left. <laughs> I have a bazooka apparently. Oh no, you have a bazooka, I have a... okay, I see now. I can't hit him. I can't do it. You shoot to the left, I can't oh, cover the, the left. Fuck? Oh, you did. Okay. I got him. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Man, this is the sturdiest car in the history of vehicles. I, we should really <laughs> right? bring it. It's virtually indestructible. Don't let Spencer find find out about this. We'll, we'll fuck. <laughs> I am to be a driving god. It's so fucking dark. What a garage, huh? I guess we're going off road. See, I told you. Remember when I said in DVD or Texas they could put a car killer? There we go. Resident Evil did it first. Yep. It's like sneaking in the garage. Oh. How's the car driving by itself? Oh, it's it's I, you. I gotta punch the fucking. Oh, I'm driving now. Are you? Yeah, you're driving now. Apparently, my trigger is accelerator and A is to boost. Oh, thank you. Oh, and feeling slowly. I see it, okay. I wasn't holding the trigger, I thought it was going by itself. <laughs> Sharp turn. Is there a. Yeah, left trigger does the turn. Alright, woo! Shoot them off! <laughs> or don't. Oh my god! You're tearing me apart, surface to air missile. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> oh, are they talking oh Serbian again? Did you say... Oh, no, they're talking Chinese. They should be Chinese zombies. Oh, God. This thing's really hard to aim. Yeah, I know, especially when I'm moving around. I like <laughs> that we swapped. That's pretty cool. Should have used the boost going upward. Didn't know. Man, it's a racing game. It's a Gears of War game. It's uh, it's everything but a racing game. Damn, game. this is an incredibly long road. Yeah. I wonder if it's based in reality. Like they based the Serbian part in reality pretty much from. Oh, oh. Um, whoa, our health is shit now. I just realized that's health. Up, up, dodge. Oh god. I'm just gonna go oh, around. Oh my god, guys. hit bag. We spotted an aircraft carrier of unknown origin in the harbor. Now going the wrong way. Gotcha. Nice. I just hear explosions. Oh, I can turn my head. Look, while I'm driving, I can look to the left and right. <laughs> You're boosting, but it doesn't feel like it. So no, now I'm boosting. Slow. There you go. Yeah, I know what you mean, because it's like, it's more boost by sound than by actual. Oh man, I gotta commend this engine. Look, it's flawlessly oh, rendering shit. all this live. Not a single point of stutter. Pure 60 frames non-stop on, on first generation Xbox One. So this isn't <laughs> Xbox One X, it isn't Sirius X, this is the crappy old generation one Xbox One. And look, it's so smooth. Bollywood physics, that's right, Mayo. Welcome back, Mayo, my man. Welcome back, buddy. Wow, we did it, man. Look at the time. We did it perfectly. We did. Perfection. We did a chapter. And we read the file. Fuck this I'm game, it credited me with three deaths. I got zero deaths. Yeah, well, it's... finally we see who the better <laughs> player is. <laughs> oh, wow, I say that time. for for like for one session, I have less deaths than Everybody you. Everybody gets one, Hippie, that's your one. And accuracy. Congratulations. Look at that. Finally, accuracy <laughs> is not 20%. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> This was oh, a wonderful amazing. session, Mutation. Thank you very it much. It really was. Yeah, thank you. This was fantastic. That was a lot of fun. Uh, end game. End game. Please wait a moment. Quick I'm game. Gonna, actually, you know, before we before we move on, I, I want to check the skills because I'll forget next time we go in. 
So I remember there was somewhere. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's just see what we can get. Potato was asking about skills. Uh, Down the volume. Where do we do it? Campaign. Skill settings. There you go. So for Chris, so you see you have eight slots. There are eight playable characters. You can have a loadout for each of them if you wish. For Chris, we have melee level three, de defense level two. Okay, I can up the defense, that means. How do we do that? Yeah, there you go, defense. Purchase upgrade, 80,000. Uh, oh, I don't have enough. See. I need eight, I need eight. My firearm's maxed out. My critical hit level's maxed out. Let me see, what else do I... Uh, I have melee level two, but... I have melee level yeah, three okay. and critical level three, but defense level two, so... That's gonna be my next goal. Oh, I can. I have to purchase these ones. Eagle Eye adds an extra level of magnification to sniper rifle scope. Quick reload. The last shot greatly increases the strength of your final remaining shot. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a. The, some of them are really situational, but I guess you can make your own playstyle with it. I obviously like the pistols and th throwing myself around. What's the combat gauge? It says combat gauge boost. That's your stamina, basically. I think. Okay. I need that. I really need that because I use a lot oh, of Oh, that's kind of cool. So there's one called Team Up. Strengthens your partner's attacks when you're near each other. Oh, that's single player, though. These are oh, yeah, players. yeah. All the partner ones are single player. Gotcha. Okay. Good night, Potato. Thanks for sticking by. Very happy to have you here. I'm just Potato. Good night, good night. Renit is streaming Resident Evil 2 Remake with fixed cameras. I gotta see that. I really got Ooh. gotta see that. So let's let's raid Renit. Mm -hmm. Guys, thanks for watching, everyone, for supporting uh, Giuseppeo here and me, Giuseppe. I'm gonna call you Giuseppe. Oh, look at Giuseppe. that new effect! Didn't talk about that. I'll do it next stream. We got new effects, new <laughs> shit. I have time to work on streams now, so it's wonderful. Absolutely. Mutations channel. Thank you for sticking around and uh, and 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 keeping company to my buddy as I'm screaming in his ears. I'm sure he appreciates it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's been a wonderful stream. Thank you to everybody in the chat for your participation. A lot of fun. Can't wait to the next episode. Well said, man. Well said. This is why I pay you. I don't pay him. This is why I pay you for this shit. <laughs> uh, all right. Till next time, everyone. Stay well. See you around. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.